Ah, yeah. Welcome to episode 290 of Open Your Toys Cast, the podcast dedicated to the four greatest action figure franchises of the 80s and all time. And those are badass. G.I. Joe, Masters of the Universe, Star Wars, and Transformers. Yeah, boy. Uh, if you want to kick it with us, we want you to do it right here, live every other Sunday, 4 p.m. Mountain. Figure out your time zone from there. Uh, if you can't make the live show, kick it with us on our Facebook group at facebook.com slash groups slash open your toys. Uh, if you just want to know when the show uh, gets put up, you can follow us at our Facebook page at facebook.com slash open your toys cast or for the announcements of when we are going to go live. And then uh, if you want to see everything we're talking about, if you're not on the YouTube stream at least or watching the YouTube video, you can go to OpenYourToys.com. There'll be links to the show notes in the upper right-hand corner. On those show notes, link to subscribe through Spotify, Apple, and Amazon. Still Google Podcasts. They haven't gone away with it yet. Uh, subscribe to the RSS. Email us. Leave us a voicemail. Links to support the show if you shop at Amazon and eBay. And I know you guys do. Don't be lazy. And you don't even have to go to the website. Just go to openyourtoys.com slash Amazon. And it just throws you to Amazon with our code on there. Same thing with eBay. So buy stuff and support the show. Clister, where can people find you? I post uh, in the group as Red Menace. Uh, but most of my stuff is on Instagram as Associate of Horror. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Bat-Ass. Uh, you can find me here on the show, uh, usually stalking Cliff, and yeah, that's where I am. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of eggplants, a lot of explosions. A boom. <laughs> <laughs> Blowing shit up. And if you'd like to find Shane, unfortunately, he won't be joining us, uh, at least for a few shows. He started a new job, and sounds like he's kind of in new job hell, but... Everything's okay with them. Just a just a little crazy bit of time for him and his family as he changes jobs. So, um, you want to find me? I'm at Facebook.com/slash Open Your Toys. I'm at Slick McFavorite on the gram, and of course, Slick at OpenYourToys.com. Um, what are we drinking, or what are you drinking out of? I should say, <laughs> Palm Bay, lovely Strong. Canadian liqueur. Yep. Strawberry pineapple. Is that Strawberry pineapple. Yeah. I got, I got lemon some... water in a big gulp. Nice, nice. Is this a fresh lemon? Is it the real lemon little crystal packets? What is it? You know, it's uh, it's, it's the real lemon like oh, leader that you can buy it. and keep in the fridge. Yeah. Nice. So it's real lemon juice. <laughs> I like those. Uh, I if you're. Not that you need stuff to be too portable, but those uh, real lemon packets are amazing. I love those whenever I'm looking for lemon or lime in my stuff. It's amazing what a little lemon juice does. To, like, I like water. I think it's mm -hmm. fine. But yeah. just a little lemon juice to it oh, just yeah. really makes it. Like, it it, it does. It's like a different experience, you know. When, <laughs> when, I'm, not, when I'm not drinking, like, I can't do just water all the time you know because we don't drink sodas very much we'll drink seltzer waters here and there um but yeah lots of times i just want some lemon or lime in my water yeah i need flavor i, I can't just drink water straight <laughs> um uh oh me i am drinking a new chilada this is dos Equis chilada pineapple um a Refreshing and authentic blend of beer with sweet and spicy flavors. A Mexican classic. It's good. It's not as good as uh, Modelo's pineapple one, but it's not bad. And again, can you refresh my memory? What is a chilada? Uh, so a chilada is um, usually a clam base like Clamato. Uh, Clamato tomato juice. Uh, salt, lime, uh, usually a Worcestershire in there, uh, celery salt, and uh, sometimes jalapenos. 
So a Bloody Mary with a little bit of clam juice, basically? Yeah. Well, clam. Yeah, exactly. And then beer, of course. Yeah, okay. yeah. That's, yeah, all mixed with beer instead of the vodka. But, um, yeah, uh, a little bit more kind of uh, Hispanic flavor to it than a Bloody Mary, you know. Um, but, yeah, essentially that. that's why I love it. All right, no listener feedback and questions. I think I think Peter's had enough of, of carrying the load. <laughs> Seven <laughs> worth of questions. So hit us up. Let us know if you want to know anything. We'll, we'll tell you anything. Well, mostly anything. Um, let's see. We've got a few people joining us. Cowabunga Dude is chimed in in the chat. What's up? What's up? Um, fuck it. We got lots of news. Let's get into some freaking con news. Fucking shit ton of news. God, crazy. Uh, 40th stream week four. Uh, so this is for the... Not uh, sharing your screen, Slick. Oh, yeah, that's right. Thank you. Uh, this is the, uh, uh, Transformers for the anniversary here. Um, so they revealed these coins... Get into the here. Uh, and these things sold out faster than anything. I'm like, really? Are there are there really people that want coins? And these are medallions, so you can see how much bigger they are. And these things weren't fucking cheap. The coins weren't too bad, I think, or the coin. I think this coin was like 17 bucks. I think these medallions were like 50 bucks or something, and they Fuck. sold out pretty quick. <laughs> Um, I did find I sold one of my uh, Star Wars Lego coins that they gave away as a promo at the toy show. And uh, the guy, he's a uh, he's a well, he says he's trying to become a professional poker player. And when you get up from the table, you have yeah. to have a you have to have a marker to put on your cards. And so he's like, "This is going to be perfect to put on my cards." I was like, "Oh, cool! I'm glad it's not just going to go on a fucking shelf somewhere." Or so you can get bullied at the table when you come back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look at Transformers nerd. No, this was well. If you got these, this Our was Lego. Star Wars Lego. Star Wars Lego, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Which you probably get bullied even more. Um, so I think for a lot of people, this was the big reveal of this week four was this, uh, Transformers TMNT crossover, the, uh, turtle van. And again, they, they just do bang up on the alt modes and for good reason, you know, you shouldn't be sacrificing the alt modes. Um, but interesting what they're doing here is it's got a removable skull cap essentially that has each of the bandanas on here and then the uh the figure itself comes with all of the turtles weapons so you get two size two nunchucks two uh katanas and a bow staff maybe even get two bow staffs i don't know but so basically you can buy one oh and then we see here too on his belt so oh, his yeah. his belt is swappable too with each of the uh, letters of the first names of the turtles. Yeah, I think it you rotates. Can, is what yeah, you said. Yeah. Is that what it is? Okay. Um, so you can basically have any one turtle you want, and of course they were pushing during the stream, like, or you could buy four, or if you need eight, you know, like I'm like, oh my god. Oh, well, you know that. the diehards are going to get five. Yeah. Because there's Party Wallop, who's his own character, and then the four turtles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, and then maybe one to keep on card. Yeah. Um, that's the only thing I, I don't like about the swappable heads is uh, on card, he doesn't look as cool, right? Because he's got his weird, like, bald face, in my opinion. Yeah. So, but... I'll be picking one up. I, I've I've kind of relegated my turtle collecting to being Michelangelo. I've just kind of given up on collecting all four of the turtles every time, unless they're unique. Like with the most recent turtles movie, they're all their sculpts are unique, all that kind of stuff. But and that movie was dope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. Um, the one thing, and they don't show it in the pictures here, but I've seen it. Uh, the one thing that's kind of cool 
is there's an option for you to take what they're using as the shield here, the front of the turtle van, and put that on the chest. So, oh, so he's me, like Optimus. Yeah. So to me, that's a little bit more robot-y, transformer-y, you know, like... I don't need it to look like a turtle shell there. I think I'll probably put mine with the van on the chest myself. So, or the front of the van on the chest. So what's up with that? The turtles seem to be slutting themselves out to every brand. that. Will oh happen. yeah, dude. Well, and I forget, I even just watched the, the, the power of turtles or turtle power or something. That's a it great was, documentary. Yeah, yeah it, it was. Um, but I don't even know where it lies. Right. So, Laird or Eastman, well, Playmates there. was the Iron Fist for the longest time. Yeah, okay. And then like they wouldn't let NECA do. It. That's why NECA's original turtles were only that Comic Con exclusive, like fifteen years ago. Oh yeah, the ones that fetch like two hundred and fifty a piece now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like because NECA, because uh, even though NECA was like, listen, we sell in a different part of Toys R Us than you. We sell in the adult section kind of by the video games remember uh roger you don't yeah obviously you still have toys r us but it's like yeah. there was a store called toys r us that we used to have here <laughs> um and all the kids watching there used to be a, a, a store that only sold toys i know it was very weird <laughs> it was amazing <laughs> um but playmates was like we don't give a fuck we don't want you anywhere near our our playmates business but hmm. recently playmates just like released their their iron grip and they're just letting anyone who anyone who wants to license it they can license it like oh, okay it's fucking insane yeah they're mm-hmm. leasing it to everybody everybody's getting it. hasbro's doing it though hasbro's giving their shit to mcfairlane to super yeah. seven yeah this is true they yeah, finally released know. their grip on that um they're gonna re-release Secto one if you haven't got them on the previous two releases. And maybe you even got him on the second release where he was on card and came with the comic and didn't look as cool. If if you do, if you have that one or you don't have a, either of them, this is the way you want to go. I love it. This was was this the first crossover, like the Official first crossover because this was 2019. Obviously, the new box won't say that, I assume. But was it this uh, or was it the DeLorean? I, yeah, that's a good question. I thought the DeLorean was first, but you know, me and Transformers, I don't have the best retention. <laughs> um, but yeah, th- both of those in the G1 box. I finally sold my extra DeLorean at the at the show a couple weeks ago, too. I had that DeLorean. I pre-ordered two of them like i always do yep. so i had that shit for like four years um the shockwave that we've already seen they just showed off uh some details on it bot mode that he looks teams. cool like he's probably one of the better shockwaves i've seen in a while dude this well and this this uh cover for me is just like it's probably the most iconic transformers cover for me of all time it may be with the exception of the killing joke homage with megatron and and reflector oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. um yeah, yeah. those two are just my favorites of all time so um and then this was something that didn't get leaked surprisingly uh it is a versus four pack they're calling it um so we get uh tarantulas here what was it this is like the original concept colors that they never did for him um you get the prime you get the prime cliff jumper which was him in the sports car with the horns um you get a repaint or a redeco of tarn uh which is i guess closer to his comic colors or his or his uh uh doj colors and then this is the big draw i think for most people um is that what's his name repugnus or something like that he's i think he's the last headmaster we need or something i thought he was Um, a terracon but is that what they call him i don't know but i know he's the one he completes a collection um uh and he's a weird, like, crab, like, cobra. Yeah, I think guy. he's a Terracon. 
Okay. But he is a headmaster also. So, um, and then uh, I love their pipeline reveals Sunstreaker, Sideswipe, uh, Bumblebee, Shockwave, and Swoop. Fuck and yeah, then, Swoop finally. <laughs> and then, as we're going to learn a week later, those are the announcements during the WonderCon panel. So. Oh, that was brutal, that fucking WonderCon. <laughs> fucking brutal um imperial march this is the last week i don't know if this was week five i thought this was week five but whatever um this had me super excited because of the fucking this last command four pack um do they have official picture oh really you don't yeah i think you got to click on it for pulse It'll yeah pulse. i guess and we can see some pictures there Black series. So the other reveal was a uh, phase two clone trooper and a battle droid two pack for the black series, but this black series four pack. So star Wars, the last command. I love that. Um, um, that's something they said they were never going to, they weren't going to do any more EU. That wasn't officially, EU, the way they made it. Uh, what are they calling it? Star Wars Infinities or something? Like yeah, the they, so that's what they decided to do, and then and then they stopped releasing anything, and now we're we're going back to the well. Um, so this is the last command. It comes with a Luke and a Luke and Mara Jade and Joris Sabath. Um, or Sabooth, I can't remember. Or it's Alan so Moore. Like, however, yeah. <laughs> like, however you pronounce it. Like, <laughs> I was like, it's been so long since I listened to the uh, listened to the book on cassette to hear the pronunciation. Um, but the Luke and Mara, I think, are just straight repacks yeah. from previous releases. Yeah, that looks like Jedi Luke, but sure. Yeah. yeah. It's not. It's weird because he's got the flap, so they probably yeah. can argue that it's not Jedi Luke. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so here, uh, so the Luke with two U's here. Uh, I guess the I I can't even remember the story, so I'm not even. He was cloned it. from the hand that Vader cut off in Empire. That's that's oh. why he's got the blue saber because that's also the saber. Mm. Yeah, it has been so long, but. I love all this EU shit from my day. Oh, so. dude. Like, I'm still waiting on Shadows of the Empire shit to come out. Like, yeah. You know, oh, yeah, dude. I'm Dash surprised Red they, yeah, like, I'm surprised I haven't pumped that stuff out. Well, they did Shizor uh, for something. I don't remember what it was, but they recently did a Shizor. So I, I, I just assumed Dash Rendar was on its way, but I guess not. <laughs> Um, so that looks good, but still, it's still Joe mode. I didn't, I didn't bite. It looks like not uh, a lot of people did. This one didn't sell out at all. Like the the, the classified stuff sells out. Oh yeah, like instantly. instantly. Yeah, and then absolutely. the Star Wars stuff lingers. I'm surprised yeah. I got that ATV. I'm really shocked at that one. Dude, I I have I have for the most part. I think on my in my booth, I had maybe ten Star Wars items out of two hundred or one hundred and fifty you know of the four major franchises so i had hardly any star wars on my table and uh and only a few star wars items sold as well and i'm for the most part on my table i sell at cost you know there's some things i can't help but bump up like the his tank or the vamp you know but uh for the most part my uh things are just retail and they still didn't sell um let's see oh brinkalizers joined us triple a in the house what's up what's up and lucas james is here as well um it's night two of wrestlemania whoop, whoop. Night one was painfully average it seems that we are back to the days oh i think this is uh something else seems we're back to the days of shitty distribution um so thank you for joining us if you got to jump off for that wrestlemania action no worries we know things are important i really wish i was watching the female final uh final two or championship but um no worries we're here for you 
Uh, let's see. Legion Con exclusives announced. I am so fucking happy. <laughs> um, so these are going to be a Legion's, a, uh, a Mythic Legion's two pack for Legion's Con. And I think this is November. Yeah, November 9th. So this is going to be their day one exclusive. Um, and it is the Legend of Gaspar, the Unamused, and Garwith, the Unpredictable. Um, isn't so that your voice name isn't that yeah uh, yeah yeah so this is finally an homage to him if, if people don't know uh george gaspar from originally from toy break then and still of double g toys he still does his own sculpting and consulting and all that kind of stuff um he now works for the horseman full-time um and uh and if if you know george he's an amazing guy but the unamused is like the perfect kind of like side title for his figure because <laughs> he's he's just you know i would say he's kind of the grumpy old man of toy collecting ever since i known him and that was shit like it almost 15 years ago so um excited for this i i probably won't get the two pack um but there's some amazing fucking extra things so like his character comes with dwarf legs if you wanted to make him a dwarf uh some of the different like replaceable heads are super cool on these guys uh, and you even get a tail here for some reason that i'm not sure of um well, he's got but- an animal head <laughs> oh i guess that tail. yeah i guess that's true if you're gonna give him a panther head give him a panther tail um these will uh so these are only available to show but like they do with all of their exclusives they'll release a standard version um it just won't come with some of the pieces like the dwarf legs and that kind of shit so i don't i don't need the dwarf legs george is a relatively tall guy so he doesn't deserve (laughs) dwarf legs (laughs) uh so i'll i'll just wait for the uh i'll wait for the standard release of these but super cool for people that will be attending legions con like i i assume i think don't you go over every year uh brinkalizer i know it's not too far from you um yeah and and he says they also had george hates fun t-shirts made (laughs) (laughs) Uh, so yeah i expect those in a coming wave of mythic legions if you can't make the show all right, this fucking WonderCon Hasbro panel. I think I fluffed this off as it's going to be some rehashes, maybe some pipeline shit. And they dropped some pretty big fucking bombs during this. Uh, biggest of which I think, at least, is the fucking O ring freaking Ghostbusters. Let's get down to these guys uh, with Ecto 1 on there, which only so- seats two. Are you serious? Is yes. that what it says? Even though it has that's what they said doors? during the panel. So it's a revamp. It's a rework of the Ghostbusters Afterlife Ecto Dirty Ecto One that they remember when they released the Plasma series and they had a bunch uh-huh. of six inch scale Ghostbusters and like to go with those. Here's a one eighteenth Ecto One. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> so it's a rework of that, and they said they were able to get. It's to hold two figures, but they weren't yeah. able to hold all four, which what kind of fuck? is a bit of a wet blanket for me. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you stick your two least favorite in the Ecto and have your two favorite flanking it or something. I don't know. But um, yeah, that is kind of shitty. But the figures themselves look great. Yes. Other than that. Uh, they're about what you would expect. Painted everything looks really good on this. Did they give price points or anything? 44 for the four pack. It's only sold as a four pack. Okay. And then how much for the Ecto? I don't know about the Ecto. 
Interesting. But 44 for those four figures is pretty fucking mind blowing. Yeah. Considering oh, yeah. Duke and Cobra Commander two yeah. pack for the fucking same price. Yeah, that's exactly right. I guess it probably all boils down to the fact that, with the exception of Vankman's lower legs, that is four of the identical mold. Yeah, with just a different uh, name tampo on the chest. Yeah, I'm looking at, I'm trying to see if there's any gloves or all. The, yeah. So, yeah, like you say, just Vankman's. The way you should rock pant legs over your boots. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, sweet. Yeah, that was that was a big reveal. So, I'm excited for that. Because, yeah, wasn't that Ecto-1 45 when it first came out? Wasn't that kind of the Black Series pricing at the time? It might have been. I don't first know. I, I, honestly, I saw it a bunch of times. I never once picked it up or investigated it one because it was the afterlife and one it didn't scale to anything that was on the shelf so i'm just <laughs> like why <laughs> why <laughs> um let's see joe recap um so uh the reveals the reveals here not that we'll look at better images in a second but uh retro card it's going to be a snow serpent beachhead and an eel and then uh the big reveal uh, pun intended, well, I guess it's kind of big, is the ferret. And hadn't we seen this or heard about I thought we yeah, talked we saw about it. this We've on the We've talked about show. this a few times on the show. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this was just the official announcement, I guess, of it. And then... Uh, and then, Once a man, Cobra Commander. What the fuck? Yeah, this is the big one. The name only reveal. Yeah. Once a man as a... Did, Cliff, if you watched it, did they say, is that the $35 Deluxe or the 40 Is it like Mutton Junkyard or is it like Metalhead? That I don't know. I didn't watch it. I just read, I think, Toy Shiz's recap, and all okay. it said was name reveal. It didn't okay. say what what kind of figure it would be. I couldn't get past BMAC, and I was done after that. Because <laughs> I know they said it was a deluxe. It won't be just yeah, a standard a release. Well, he better, yeah, he better have a couple interchangeable like torsos. I mean, I saw a pic not too long ago on Facebook where it showed a Cobra Commander in his regular blue outfit, and then you had the hooded head, you had the once a man head, and then you had battle armor clip on pieces. Oh, crazy. Okay. That might be what they're talking about there. So it could be a 45 and it's considered a deluxe because you have all those accessories. Hmm. Interesting. All right. I'm going to switch that up. Uh, Transformers recap again. <laughs> Just what they yeah. pipeline revealed. Um, Swoop. Yeah, we get the car, Cybertron, Hotspot, RID, Sideburn. Uh, Voyager Vector Prime and Fernac Nucleus. Um, and then post panel question they did fix the swappable joint on Gamer Sideswipe. I don't know what that is, but I don't think we need to look at pictures here. We'll look at the official pics in a second. Uh, oh, this was kind of interesting. Uh, they did a Q&A with the Transformers team. Mostly them just asking, are we going to get this? Are we going to get that? And them saying, nothing's out of the realm. Um, let's see. Uh, I like that they asked about a G-ified, G-1-ified Scorn or Paddles. So Scorn was the Spinosaurus from one of the movies and then uh paddles is uh a plesiosaur so like a loch ness monster so that would be kind of fun if we got that i don't know if i need that at a leader scale i definitely don't need the spinosaurus i ever since jurassic park introduced it and like oh this is so much bigger than t-rex and blah 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 i'm like meh I'm not a huge fan. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like a fucking alligator. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> with a with a what is it? Not Dilophosaurus, but what is that? No, the one that has the sail. It was oh, just yeah. basically the lizard with that big sail. Um, let's see. What was the one? Oh, they asked about uh, getting studio series concept line for other than movies for like gamer edition or cartoons. Um, and they said, well, they did the 
they did the movies because they had the cut the CAD drawings already for reference. Um, they said maybe that might be possible with gamer edition stuff. They'd look into it. Um, and, and it said it, uh, it says, uh, Animation, I'm not sure. Could be something from like the 86 movie, but not trying to do like G1 episodes in studio series. So I appreciate the honesty there. We did the movies because the sculpting was done for us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> pretty like, much. Yeah. Um, let's see. Character rails. Uh Oh, and uh, it says, can Swoop hold the missile launchers in his hands? Um, um, he says, yes. Yeah, I believe they can. I'm pretty sure they're on five millimeter posts. And like, it's like, why wouldn't they be? But whatever. Um, sweet. And then, uh, so then the pre-orders. And so what did you guys, did it? Did either of you pre-order anything? No. Nah. Uh, ATV eels and the snow serpent. Did you? You skipped beachhead. Yeah, I, I already got one. I don't need another. Okay. I'm, so I, with so with these retro, do you open these up? No, they stay on the card. Oh, okay. oh I thought these would be the ones you open because I know. Have a number. You know, you know? Yeah, they don't have a number on them. Like I finally get to open some. Of yeah, my I get toys. to. Play. <laughs> no, I, I got a, a cool GameStop story that yeah. happened over the weekend. So, are we going to talk about it what you got? Yeah. Okay. Um, so those were the joy pre-orders. The ferret already that was a pulse exclusive and it sold out. It like hung around that. a long time. Uh, no, I thought it hung out. No, no, time. it was because I ended up getting it. So I it had been there for a bit. <laughs> I, I was gonna say that. I didn't order it right away. I yeah. ordered it later that night. Yeah, and I it think was still I did there. Too. Yeah. Um, but I, when I was doing the show notes, it was sold out. So it might have sold out that same day, just later on in the evening um let's see uh and then so you said sorry cliff you said you didn't pre-order anything no no boo on you but so now so you skipped the vamp you you skipped the hiss right you didn't no i have this oh did you get this uh did you pre-order the sms no okay so aside and then you didn't back the dragonfly either right nope. That's so way too you... way too big. <laughs> way <laughs> too big. Hang from the ceiling. That's I how guess. I, like, I rationalize I, it. I have so many one eighteenth Joes from the twenty fifth all the way through the the fiftieth. Which you know, mm. even though it was only a ten year span, there somehow I have twenty five years of anniversaries. <laughs> yeah. um, I have like I have a like a universe of four inch figures. I want that to be my primary Joe stuff. So I just kind of turn the faucet off on classified. Nice. Like I'll I'll cherry pick I'll get figures that are cool like I've kind mm. of been spying that retro Duke on Amazon maybe I'll maybe I'll buy it if I see it at Target yeah. uh, but I I want to have a little thing like it'll be like I said the centerpiece of my classified will be the hiss with Serpentor flying over the hiss with the two trouble bubbles on each side of Serpentor oh, and then nice. just whatever figures I have and other than that that's good for my classifieds oh yeah um and oh before we move on let's check these comments uh brinkalizer will be at legion's con so if you're planning to go look for him he'll be surrounded by lots of his adoring admirers or the realm at least <laughs> uh and he says i hope to see a ton of echo or ecto customs of joe vehicles for these o-ring ghostbusters that would be kind of cool right take take one of those 25th vamps with the four doors that would sit four and and customize it into an ecto color scheme that'd be dope. do like a I hiss like, like a like a septic tank, only it's like an ecto tank. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wow, yeah. look at that. Nice. I like that thought. Because you could probably get a shit ton of cheap hisses because the Walmart, uh, those Walmart exclusive vehicles that they put out with the 25th anniversary tooling, mm -hmm. those lingered. Yeah. So, yeah, you can still get the blue one, especially the red one's a little, the red one's picking up momentum because it had the original hiss driver. But the blue one with the blue driver is super easy to get. 
um the septic hiss that might be a little no, difficult no. because yeah, yeah you're either warrior your shit vintage. is not cheap <laughs> yeah yeah you're either looking vintage the club did one for one of the joke ons and then there was that uh toys r us two pack where it wasn't really the septic tank but it was the orange hiss tank that came with the sky striker with the night force sky striker do we remember oh, that? i have that yes yeah I have that. so but yeah it, it's not the septic tank with the single cannon blaster on the top um okay uh star wars pre-orders so they revealed that we'll be getting all of the rebels you just don't get the cool mural card back for the vintage collection. So hopefully you got on the Sabine and Chopper because those were made to order and they're completely sold out now. Um, so you can get all your Rebels if you wanted a in vintage collection. Uh, the Zeb's going to be a deluxe, of course, for absolutely no reason besides he's tall. Um, and then... Uh, the Completionist the... tax. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then you got the Moma Nadan finally getting a uh, hammerhead up in this piece. So let's take a look at hammerhead. He looks awesome. Yeah, he does look really good. Um, somebody, what was the point? Somebody, oh, uh, a, a guy in my local group here picked up the uh, 30th or is it 30th? Whatever the... Um, joe infantry and diver sets are you know oh, those? yeah like yeah, yeah the, whatever that whatever anniversary it is yeah exactly um and he's like so this is why i'm out of black series and i'm only focusing on classified because hammerhead is coming with three cups and a blaster for 35 dollars, and those motherfuckers come with like 18 different accessories for $35. And now I get it a little bit because those, those, um, those army builders, like actual army builders are, uh, are uh, kit bashes of other parts. So they don't have to pay for the molding again, but yeah, they're just throwing piles of accessories. in there. Yeah. But I have. mean, they, they kind of got a point, you know, like what the fuck? Well, but, yeah. but make no mistake. I mean, classified is just bitch slapping Star Wars. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And what's the what's the other what's the other uh, uh, Marvel Legends with their uh, um, with their value to price? Like oh and, yeah, like, just, yeah. Uh, Marvel Legends is the worst. Like you don't even get accessories sometimes. Yeah. Like, <laughs> which they don't need them, but you could toss them in there. So it's weird that they're using the Ahsoka. Well, I guess this is how they're getting around the exclusivity of the Rebels. Yep. Is. So are they considering Zeb and them? So what do their cards have? Oh, that's in a deluxe box. So that's brutal a card. And then what's Everybody oh, else okay? But they're cards. still considering Kane and Jarrus as a Rebels card. Well, yeah, because they, they weren't in it, so oh. they couldn't, like, they had no choice, really. I mean, yeah. Um, and I guess this is a good one for the ghost backers, is he doesn't have his uh, blindfold helmet or whatever the hell that thing was. Yeah, because uh, he goes blind at the end of Rebels there. Yeah, spoiler. <laughs> spoiler. Isn't that yeah. like 10 years old? Isn't it been like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll say spoiler when somebody says uh, Darth Vader's Luke's father. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> How could it be? <laughs> so nothing pre-ordered there. That was all Jomo. Um, so here's the here's the pre-orders for Transform. Jesus Christ. What's going on here? Um, pre orders for Transformers were those pipeline reveals a fucking week earlier. So, Swoop, uh, Sunstreaker, Sideswipe, and Bumblebee Shockwave. Um, so, we've already talked about this, but let's look at the Swoop. 
Um, he looks great. Yeah. I think he looks really good. The gold is nice on him. You know, he's pretty much what you expect for a swoop, right? For a yeah. G1 swoop. Um, there was a question in that Q&A about the battle damage, if they had ever get a clean one. And I'm like, of course you're going to get a clean yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. He's you like, making it. four versions of that. They'll be, they'll be coy, so you buy the battle damage <laughs> yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the guy even said, oh, I didn't even know it had battle. And I'm like, who the fuck are they talking to for this Q&A? He's like, I didn't even realize it had battle damage. Oh, never say never. You know, like that was the guy's question answered everything um here's one specifically for badass um and this kind of makes me sad now that i'm seeing it and i'll show you what i mean in a second because it's sabertron and they load all their images in line so it takes forever uh so you get uh the the new two so if, yeah. if people aren't big g1 fans the the first three dinobots sludge slag and grimlock came first and uh, swoop and snarl weren't added until later. Um, but this is what's annoying. Let me get a full group shot here. So they all have that good gold, except for snarl. For some reason, he has the good gold on his plates. And he's got like orangey. Yeah. Like, I'm like, what sun the bleached plastic? <laughs> yeah. It drives me nuts because he's Wasn't my he favorite. Translucent? The original? Like uh, no, that was all chromed in the original gold chrome. Yeah, I'm almost yeah. they're downstairs, but I'm almost positive. Um, but yeah, so very disappointed to see this because I had even though Snarl's my favorite Dinobot, he's still on Jomo because he still seems like everywhere and still has them on pre-order. I know there's been people that have found them in the wild. You I got yours wild. from. You found yours in a while too. Yeah, I got mine from GameStop, I think. Yeah, and we're gonna see GameStop. GameStop seems to be doing a little bit better on distribution of Transformers than anybody else. But sure. I mean, I still have I saw uh, sludges on there. I mean, our our leaders are. I've seen like the leader scorn from. Is that what it was? Scourge from the most recent Bumblebee movie on there. Um, but yeah, so that was a little disappointing, but anyways, uh, hot toys touring exhibit. Um, so if you've never had the, uh, luck of seeing a hot toys in person, uh, you probably won't get to see this either. Cause this is going to be <laughs> in the cities of Hong Kong, Singapore, Taiwan, South Korea, and the Philippines, Shanghai, and more. But who knows? Maybe uh, maybe we will see this come our way. I guess a lot of people are talking about uh, some of the things they're picturing here because they haven't released it, especially like this. Uh, uh, what was that called? The Force Unleashed, the uh, the Sith version of Starkiller here. A Darth Revan I don't think they've done before. Uh, but some of these other ones, or most of the other ones, they've announced or put out already. So, if you are east, if you far east coast, which, sorry, that's <laughs> probably should be trying to do accents. Yeah, I was going to say, that was, um, <laughs> I think YouTube's already shut down the stream, Slick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh let's see and then uh what's been showing up for weeks now in stores as usual <laughs> shit <laughs> is the NECA holothon shit um and my god so i like even though i'm jomo and but i like to go out when the hype is there and just see if i can find stuff right i'm not gonna buy it but i like to go see if i can find stuff I hit like three targets over the last week to just see if I could find things. And it seems like literally the next day after I go to it, somebody in the local group posts like, 
oh my God, holothons hit the target right by my house that had nothing the fucking day before. <laughs> so I keep missing it by like a day or two. But my uh, buddy Pete found everything. Like he, yeah. I, I told him, I was like, dude, they're hit and go. And he keeps texting me back like a few hours later. He's like, I got everything. I'm like, fuck <laughs> you. What the fuck? Now, the one thing I may let myself do is that prey predator. That, oh my God, that just looks absolutely beautiful. What is it? What, like, that's all the pictures I've seen have been so grainy. What is the Holothon exclusive prey? So it looks like it's a black and white and red version of it. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Yeah, so he's like gray tones, but then super bloody head to toe and all that. And the package is like a clear bloody package and shit. So that's kind of where it got me. Now, keeping with the prey thing, you would think they would have gone neon green because that was kind of the prey marketing material. But mm. I'm excited. I'll, I'll try to pick it up. So anyway, it... The street date for this stuff that people have been buying for the last two weeks was today. So they should be hitting your target if your target follows street dates and stuff. But I read somewhere that, so what's happening is NECA license or, or partners with a third party stocking company, right? That is supposed to be going to targets every week, reorganizing the NECA stuff, going in the back and stocking the NECA boxes because supposedly target employees are not supposed to touch that. It's it's kind of like if you've ever seen someone stocking Hallmark cards. Or they Lego. Don't work, yeah, or Lego. Yeah, they don't work for target they they in those instances they actually work for lego and hallmark but this is a third party company for neca and and uh he talked to employees and they're like they send us boxes but we can't stock them and if they sit there long enough we send them back like the store just like neca can't keep that much stuff in our in our warehouse so we just start sending them back and uh, so this guy was saying, oh, what you, you just got to get in good with the target employees. And and he's like, the, the guys I know, they just go in the back and they get me stuff if it if it shows. And he's like, even doing the uh, like pop, pop finder or other stock uh, inventory checkers, they'll say zero on the floor, zero in back, but they're back there. They just haven't been put into their system because those that stocking company hasn't come and checked them into their system. So it's almost like it's a broken system. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I love it. And then after he posts that in the comments, like, oh shit, I would love to do this job. I I would do this job for free. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, eh. Well, that's you what must they did, live in right? a town with like two targets. I live in a town with 13 targets, you know? like. Well, didn't NECA do that when they first started hitting targets? They wanted like regional. Yeah. To, like, yeah. They wanted, they wanted us to, to, to babysit their sections. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I was like, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it starts today, but the online version doesn't start until this Friday on target.com. So. Uh, during that, it'll be a limit of two each. Uh, that'll be Friday at 9 a.m. Eastern, uh, 8 Central, 7 Mountain, and fucking 6 a.m. if you're on the West Coast. So. And it will end uh, 90 <laughs> seconds afterwards. Yeah. Target yeah. still doesn't use CAPTCHA. <laughs> exactly. And... Yeah. It'll be a complete bot fest. <laughs> I'm interested to see what the Beetlejuice is, though. Uh, yeah, that was, that was kind of an interesting thing. Cause everything else I was like, oh, so there's the NECA turtle stuff we've seen. There's the predator prey. Um, and it's oh, weird that they're turtles. going predator on that instead of prey. Yeah. So we'll see. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, Brinkalizer says Roger is referring to the translucent covers over the gold chrome of the G1 Dinobots. Snarl's head, Grimlock's neck, etc. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I was talking about. Yeah. Um, let's see. Jason hits the targets to hide all the thought stuff so he could pick it pick it up later at Jovo Price. I've only done that a couple times. A couple <laughs> times too bro. many, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hit an MP star scream, the, the movie MP star scream when it started clearancing. So it, it was like uh I think it was like a hundred instead of 150 and then waited for it to hit 35 bucks. And it was still there behind the luggage. <laughs> oh, slick logistics. <laughs> I know. God, I'm morally like... questionable. <laughs> <laughs> and Glenn made it one of our, one of our proud group members. Glad you're here, Glenn. Um, all right, let's get on to the next one um oh shit that was it for con news granted that was a lot of fucking con it was a lot i was gonna say that's that's cool <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um let's see uh new masters so this oh. it seems like this was forever ago right yeah okay. i know uh but yeah was this was pretty freaking crazy um oh they do have the turtle ones on this post so um all right what what's exciting people on the turtles for me i'm telling you right uh, now Fordak. i'm taking the floor slick i'm, okay. I'm, I'm making a bold proclamation it might be a hot take okay that translucent merman <laughs> is the greatest masters of the universe figure that has ever been produced <laughs> <laughs> i even like fishman and i cannot second that opinion i think that <laughs> figure is so fucking cool <laughs> <laughs> And it's a Walmart exclusive, so it, there's a 99.99 percent .99 chance I will never see it and never yeah, touch it. I've never, I haven't seen any of these pop up in my Walmart yet. Have you not seen the? Have you seen the Moss Man around you, Cliff? Yeah, I got the I got the Moss Man. I got the Moss Man at full oh. price a whole two weeks before they started cutting them. Uh, <laughs> wow, well, you got 90 days to return them, buddy. I don't play that game. Like once it's purchased, it's purchased. It's it's oh, done. <laughs> People are finding them for as cheap as five bucks. Oh, I still I have. Off, I, I still would buy have... a second one for five just to display it with the other head. What I would do is if I if I can find the cheapest I've seen them is twenty two fifty so far. Um, but if I could get one, even fifteen, but better about ten bucks, I would deflock it. Because I've seen some people do that online, and it looks really good deflocked. I bet opinion. it does. That's a pain in the ass, though, dude. That's a lot of isopropanol. Yeah, yeah that's no. a lot of fucking stained IPA fingers. Fucking yeah. Pouring it on there. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I think we talked about most of those TMNT. I, I think we've talked about all of these, right? No, we, we haven't talked, talked about, about the origin the, stuff. That's... We didn't talk about the three. Yeah, most of the origin stuff we didn't talk about. We only talked about Hordak and the Snake Tila because those were the only two we saw. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, and the and we talked about the the Shira Leech, and the did we talk about the Bone Throne? No, oh, absolutely not. No, no, no. Stuff. Oh, okay. All this stuff came out right before Easter. So. Okay. Or that dope ass uh, battle armor Skeletor. Yeah, yeah, that is a really good looking Skeletor. The uh, movie Beast Man. Pretty those, dope. those make it in jo Jomo. Um, I'm a merman guy because I like fish people, but uh, I don't know about that. I gotta be honest, slick. You say you're a fish guy, but the last two fish guys, <laughs> yeah, the doesn't on the sound fish like guys. you're a real fish guy, dude. Nope. <laughs> not a focus, not a focus. Um, and then the cyclone, I ap I absolutely hate that new attorney of psych. All the shiny gold, and it looks like the whole figure is kind of like a metallic painted. Yeah, I'm not liking them. At uh, least they've heard our cries and they've put the faker head on the uh, Thunder Punch He Man because yeah, that faker head is a really good He Man head. And somebody, I want, he is wearing mascara, but I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we did we didn't talk about the origin. No, dude. See, now I I know this was like in the last of my list, and I was like, I don't remember if we talked about it. Okay, so origins, we get Webster and Evelyn for the filmation. Well, and Reptiliacs, 
and uh, Spike Or and Clawful. Oh yeah, I forgot that was Clawful in the cartoon. That's yeah, he's like yeah, super looked, skinny and looked weird. Looked like a looked more like a like a chameleon or like yeah. a lizard, like a gecko than he did. Yeah, like Clawful. <laughs> And then Vipor, which is kind of crazy because that's that's actually like a, the Eternia snakehead, snake right? With the okay. chains, too. He's got real yeah. chains connected yeah, to Yeah, I was going to say. Um, so was he was he an exclusive? Because I don't I haven't think seen him he yet. went up for pre-order, He right? went up for pre-order on BBTS. I have it. I pre-ordered No, no, no. Reptilax did, not Vipor. Yeah, Rep, yeah Reptilax did. I, I don't think this guy or this... Horde Trooper Prime, either. No, the Horde Trooper Prime didn't show up. No. But I, I got the um, Skull Ship. I got Prince Adam. I got uh, that two pack there, I think. Yeah, that. Uh, so I allowed myself for this whole big drop, and it was a big fucking drop. I allowed myself one pre order, and I did the collector on it. I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised just because, as we've seen so far, I think in every vehicle has gone on clearance. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and and I I have a new Jomo practice on things that I think might sell out. I have started to pre-order them. It's not that much here. We can take a look here. Let's look at the Jomo spreadsheet pre-order tracking. All right, so here's the pre-orders with uh, the shipping date when I pre-ordered it. Sometimes you can get discounts pre-ordering so i put a paid on there uh oh this is not comic sound wave this is comic shock wave how dare you uh, jesus <laughs> what the shit did i put sh god i need glasses so bad okay. um, <laughs> the deluxe insecticons and then that command for oh i did pre-order that i i said it went on jomo but so here's what i'm doing i'm going to be checking in on this list it's sorted by shipping date check in on this list every two weeks before shipping dates and if the ferret is hanging around at that time then i'll cancel those pre-orders so that's kind of how i'm going to approach this so yeah i know what you're saying with the vehicles um, I'll be kind of interested by July to see what it's looking like, that kind of thing. Having said that, it's still the most economical thing on the, your pre-order list because it's yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, compared yeah. to the other shit. I mean, for sure. it's, not, it's not for a fucking what is it? A three seater? Four? Yeah, bucks? dude. Like, three seat. I mean, it's got to be. You know, it's hard to see my hands, but it's got to be at least this big because yeah. they're not they're not shoved in there. They're like, I mean, they yeah. are reclined. But you know, they well, that's just height. That's just a height issue. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And they re-released Orco in that wave too. <laughs> Did they? Yeah, yeah. Fan favorite, but it's not for pre-order, is it? Oh yeah, I have it pre-ordered. Oh really? I'm Big Bad. Oh yeah. All right. Let's see what Big Bad's got here. Origins Orco re-release reissue <laughs> standard grade. Um, uh, let's see, it should be around here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. All the masters pre orders. Uh, they've got the revelation. Dun, 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 dun. Eh? Oh, well, it doesn't mean it's not sold out yet. I forget that they take shit off of here when it sells out, but whatever. We trust you. Um, I'm looking just, at it right now on their list. So it's okay. right under the um, Turtles of Grayskull Ram Man. If you scroll all the way down, and then right underneath him is Masters of the Universe Origins Oracle Reissue. Um, so you got to open up. I'm here. Yeah. You're not on Big Bad anymore, dude. You're on. Oh, I know. But, oh, okay. oh okay. he's saying on Big Bad? Yeah, on yeah, Big Bad. Yeah. If, you got to go to the Origins zone, not the Masterverse. Okay. Is there a fucking series for that? Origins. Well, no, that's just showing one. Go back to the homepage. Okay. Uh, there should be its own little oh. click on uh, clickable. Oh, for Origins. I just yeah. clicked on the wrong fucking one. Yeah. yeah. So you got to go up to the top. And where it says all the brand names underneath Big Bad BPTS. So you uh -huh. go to the more. Okay. 
and then hit Masters of the Universe. Masters. And then hit the order. Oh, there okay. Go. There we go. Okay. And if you scroll down, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Pre order. Keep going, 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 keep going. Right there. Right there. Oh, you passed them. Right there. There are yep, there he is. Oh, okay. Okay. Pre order. Yes, sir. Okay. And I never, I never saw him in the wild. I never got a chance to get him, so I'm, I'm getting him. I need him. Oh, and Orko is well, Orko is like key. I mean, yeah, I'm you glad you did, because I found him in the wild a few times, but not an Orko fan. It, and is, and it looked like at one point I found him like a month ago. So it really? looked like somebody had returned, because I found him, Manny faces, and somebody else. Um, that I hadn't seen in forever. So it looks like maybe somebody was like, oh, four months, I'm going to return it because I never scalped it or something. But okay, anywho, let's get the fuck on here. Um, oh, and then uh, we talked, to, I think we talked about all these. Yeah, because we talked about the, the hair. Goofy and fucking the goofy fucking hair of Michelangelo. Yeah. The hair is removable though. So yeah, yeah exactly. I think it's funny because if, like, I picture Michelangelo wearing the wig, like that is. Yeah, of course, he would. Yeah, he's a weirdo. Like, he's, he's, a, he's, he's a definitely a yeah, fucking really. weirdo. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Oh, uh, Brinkalizer thinks that Cyclone is cool. I think he's that's cool. A, I like all the new Eternia designs. That's because he has the fans' toys paint job, Brinkalizer, and I think you're biased. <laughs> He's got that shiny metal paint job that Fans Toys does that third-party collectors think are a must on their toys that I personally don't like. So it's it's been a godsend that I don't feel like I need the Fans Toys stuff. Um, all right. Um, speaking of spreading your licenses thin, uh, Haya Toys twins again, looking exactly like the classified twins, and then, or actually, even exactly like the twenty fifth, like the two twenty fifth, the the comic oh, two pack right. that came out with these guys <laughs> were already four inches tall, and I mean they're they're perfect. I I love them. So like, yeah, it, this is this is quite literally a pointless. Uh, like they didn't change <laughs> anything. Yeah, like. I agree. I agree. I mean, it's it's got it's got the uh, more Asian style articulation. More, yeah. I, I don't know. Asian is probably the wrong word, but what more I don't import get is, style articulation. Yeah, there you go. That's a good way to to reference it. What I don't get is it comes with like the Predator base, which has like fossils and dirt ground and stuff like. Make make a concrete one, right? Like if yeah. you made concrete that you could do a sidewalk or something, I think that would be a lot cooler. But. Well, I didn't even notice that. I just because I know some of them don't they come with like a, a concrete base with like uh, shells on it. I like haven't shells. seen that. I only have Predator and Alien, and right. uh, Predator comes with this dirt stuff, and Alien comes with like ship grates, like this if is... you were on a spaceship. Oh yeah, this is the RoboCop one. Oh, interesting. It just kind of looks. It's like almost like cracked. It almost looks like a subway track. Yeah, yeah. See, it should come with that. These are city folk. Um. All right. Uh, Swapticons. So, uh, new gimmick revealed for the Transformers line. Uh. So we've got Swapticon. And I don't know what OP would stand for, but Ultra Magnus, Meg Shockwave, B Bumblebee Hotwad, I guess, uh, Grimlock Snarl, Cheetor Tigatron. So you can kind of see these. Uh, they're they're kind of teaming them up. Nemesis Prime and Clinch. So we don't have any idea what this is yet, but. I have a feeling it's going to be like the Hero Mashers, like Masters of the Universe Origins, like the new uh, Mutant Mayhem figures that are coming. It like seems doing to be the same figures, but with like interchangeable, interchangeable parts. parts. Yeah, interesting. 
It wouldn't surprise me. I mean, that seems to be a thing. Like, I'm actually surprised. Like, Hero Mashers did it like five, six years ago, and those all kind of died. But now with like Origins doing it, and I know Playmates is doing it, like, it mm. seems to be coming back. Like, yeah, it's a cool play curious. feature. Yeah, I'd be curious if, like you say, if it's swappable parts like that, then the reason why they never did it in Transformers, I'd assume, is the engineering involved. Yeah. You know, like, there's very few part forming transformers that work interchangeably in alt mode, at least. You know, it's easy to swap limbs and stuff, but to be able to transform it still. So, yeah, I'd be curious if this will be kind of like black series style bodies or something, you know, or what they call them red yeah. in this line where it's a non transformable figure that you can swap parts, but. Because that's what the picture looks like. The picture looks like a dude all sorts of uh, mixed up. Yeah. Like, well, yeah, because this is a deluxe Insecticon head, I think, with like a prime prime trailer gun thing from Laser Pro. Uh, yeah, I don't even know. So, um, All right. Uh, another... Uh, let's see. Oh. <laughs> Brinkalizer says, whoa, I've never used that brand menu option on BBS before. That's the only way I surf that. <laughs> oh, dude, I just click on stuff on the homepage. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's what I was saying. That's why I was like scrolling. Like, I don't see it on the homepage. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the only way I do it. I just click on that and I go through there. Nice. Um, another Hot Toys Anakin and Ahsoka. I'm like, good lord, dude. But this is so this is from the Ahsoka show. So you get it you get a a CGI slash AI Hayden Christians in the head. Yeah, say though, it looks fucking good. It does look good. For and with the Clone Wars armor and stuff, I think it looks really good. That scar I think could be Yeah, that needs to be more defined. That's like yeah, little... That's it a looks, scrape on the side of his face. Yeah, and it's still bloody for some reason. Like, yeah. scars aren't bloody, but whatever. Because that was one uh, of the last uh, Black Series figures I bought was the uh, realistic Clone Wars uh, Anakin. I oh, really? At least hit, the him and Obi-Wan? In like yeah, the, on the, the, the carded. Yeah, the carded. The card, you know I got those guys. Nice. Um, and the Ahsoka looks really cute. Looks very spot on to... Again, that that series Padawan Ahsoka look. Oh, they just don't want to show her very much. Um, okay, well that's enough. You know it's there. Yeah, I love the, that outfit on, on on Anakin. I just think that's such a cool look with the shoulder. Yeah, the whatever you call it, the chest pauldron. pauldron. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's see, uh, MP Power Master Prime, God Genrai, or not God Genrai, Super Genrai, and I don't know who would ever just buy a, a regular Genrai, a, a cab of this, and I don't, Brinkalizer, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think they ever did just a cab version, so they're doing this. Where you just get the cabs, the gun, and then you get the, and I fucking forgot, is this a breast master or whatever comes with them here? Um, so you can see this. And then, like I say, the only way I've ever seen them is with his trailer. Trailer turns into a base mode. Um, but the trailer's dope. I've always loved the trailer on Power Master Prime. Um, I assume it's not too far along that and i forget what it's called I, I think it's called like godmaster or something like that where there's another trailer that attaches to him um that turns into its own robot and then combines with him to make god generi if i'm remembering my lore correctly brinkalizer can definitely correct me on that if i'm not getting it right but yeah, even being a prime collector, I, I don't know if I'm in for another fucking four hundred dollar masterpiece prime. I may I may wait for a fourth party version of this or something, but 
great for uh great for prime collectors out there especially if you know like i say we always say these other versions of of figures and stuff is somebody's first <laughs> version of it bless you oh, sorry um, is somebody's first version of it so who knows i'm sure there's people out there collecting now where power master prime was their prime you know um deke ultimates canceled i fucking could have told you this was coming but uh i was holding out hope that this uh uh unfortunately the requirements for the release going in production were not met that's because no one fucking wants them like yeah exactly yeah, that's zero to do. no one hard, wants man. the females to begin with yeah i mean and and i'm not saying that's that's good that's actually bad and i'm sure it has misogyny behind it and all kinds of shit but but then you make the deepest cut of females and sell them as a set ever you know yeah of course that's not gonna fucking happen i know i'm out on the ultimate so like oh there we go Oh, Brinkalizer and then King Ma Macro Cranus chiming in. Yeah, there's a third component called God Bomber. Um, Evil King says the big head on the G1 Power Master Prime was originally designed to transform into roller. Oh, that's cool. If they did that on this one, I would die. Yeah, that would be dope to have a little freaking headmaster roller. Hell yeah. Um, Oh, interesting. Brinkalizer says, I think the MP60 single can is toy version with red eyes. The other version, cabin trailer is blue eyes. Interesting. Um, <laughs> Brink Brinkalizer also says that Anakin face posing for a school picture. Yeah. Day. yeah. What's funny is I always fucked up my face when I was younger on right before picture day so i think there's like three or four years when i was in elementary that i had some big scratch on my face or fell and scraped my face on the parking lot it was, it's so you look like anakin with that fucking scrape on the side yeah of the exactly <laughs> oh my god um all right uh let's get on uh new crossovers where's cliff yeah you can't wait for a smoke that long come on cliff uh so uh new collab listings found star wars and fucking knight rider what <laughs> hell yeah dude that would be awesome they have pictures of this or no no these are just listings found uh so Transformers Generation Project Night Transformers Cross Night Rider. Oh yeah. yes, I have seen pictures of this. Yeah, the the Michael Knight and the the kit transforms. Yeah, yeah, I've seen this. Well, have you seen it, or have you seen what people posting like old kit bash customs? Because <sighs> I'm pretty sure the news sites would have picked up on if there was actual pictures out there. Maybe I saw old stuff, but yeah, I've seen seen pics of this. Knight Rider Transformer Cross. Oh, it helps if I can freaking spell. Crossover. Let's do images. Yeah, I think maybe you might have seen something like this, but I mean, it's a good point. What would I can't even think of what mold this looks very nice. Oh yeah, they make oh, that this is... Prime is the rig for uh Knight Rider. Oh yeah, that would be dope. Yeah. That was always one of my favorite parts of the show is when he would either dock up drive in or, or drive back or, yeah, out, or drive yeah. out of the trailer <laughs> while it's moving. I love that shit. Yeah, see this is this is dope. But with a prowl, because the prowl was wasn't that a Dotson, right? Yeah, the that was a nice concept. Those? Yeah, yeah, it's this one here. Yeah, yeah I don't want that. No. Uh, and they've made a Cam Camaro, so I don't know why they just don't make that kit. But sure, it's like skids there. or what the fuck was the name of that one? The one with the wings yeah. that had the wings that came out and flew. That was a Camaro. 
Uh, he, shit. I don't he know. was blue. I don't know. That was a Corvette. Oh, yeah. And that was Trax. Trax, right. Yeah. 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 Um, but if we do get Kit and it sells out, we might get a car. Yeah. A true. car would be amazing. <laughs> Um, all right, better better Transformers people than I. What existing molds could they use for a Camaro? I'm not aware of a of a Camaro right Is now. It? Wow, not an 80s Camaro. We yeah, have we have Camaro. a we have a 70s Camaro and a 2000s Camaro. Because right. he hasn't bubble beef from the movies a Camaro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, let's see. Aren't you impressed? Uh, I knew that. Because <laughs> I thought about customizing one of the Human Alliance bumblebees to a Thunderhawk, but <laughs> yeah, see that would be dope. Uh, Evil King says, uh, "Don't get your hopes up. It'll probably be that core class, tiny Optimus Prime and little bumblebee we'll be painted, painted black." black. <laughs> you're not, you're not wrong. <laughs> oh, you think the kit would come with its own semi? Yeah, that's what we were just uh, talking about. Oh yeah, yeah, that's, like, yeah you missed Optimus all the Prime time. painted. Black. Well, I saw it was I thought it was Transformers news, so I was like, I got I got a couple minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, we're looking at this. This is kind of amazing. This fucking night industries with the prime, except for the kit they're using a prowl. Um, oh yeah, the the battle chargers, the runabout. That would be kind of a good one, but oh yeah, and we do have that in a modern mold too, so that's a good idea, Evil King. Okay, let's get on at Star Wars collab. Let's let's do a little bit of more freeform stuff here. Star Wars collab Transformers. What would you buy, Cliff? What would it take you to buy a Star Wars Transformer? Um, I, I wouldn't. I do remember, I do remember, do you remember when Transformers and Star Wars first merged? Yeah, yeah. they did like the Yeah, they did that yeah, whole lot. Oh, and... I've got, I've got the complete I, collection. When I first read about that, I went to Toys R Us to check them out. Uh, for those, for those younger viewers, Toys R Us used to be a store filled with toys <laughs> um, that we could go to anytime we wanted. Um, but I went, because I was thinking, oh my God, it's going to be a Millennium Falcon that transforms into Optimus Prime. I have to own this. But when I went there and they were like their own characters, they weren't Darth Vader. Or like, and you know, and like they were weird. Yeah. <laughs> I, I cause kind of turned off um, just cause it wasn't what, it wasn't what I was picturing when I heard about it. So I don't know if there's anything they could do that would, there's get no star Wars it. vehicle. I want bad enough to get a transformer of. Yeah. Uh, badass. Nothing what? for me. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Transformers. Do you not collect are, Star Wars? It's pretty low in my priority. I'll get like the odd cherry picked character, but right. that's like, about it. Like I'm okay. not I'm not in. They're just they're, there's nothing exciting happening in Star yeah, Wars. Yeah, right there's now. absolutely just... nothing. Like I saw an Andor the other day and I really, really fucking debated that one. Interesting. That was my favorite show too, and I don't have a single Andor. Yeah, character. exactly, exactly. <laughs> my favorite show out of the last few series, and I don't have a single character from that. Uh, Glenn says he's done with Star Wars. Stop collecting back in two thousand four. Shit, I wish I would have done that. I could have saved myself a ton of money. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Right? No, it's like it's never too late. You could stop oh, today. I know. Hey, <laughs> there, there is pretty fucking. I, well, what so they put Sabine on sale. I, that was my last Star Wars. I'm trying to think of what my last full price Star Wars thing was. You'd be well, proud of me. They put that, uh, those hologram, the uh, what was Katie Sackoff's character? Bo Katan. Bo Katan. They put her on clearance down to eight bucks at Target. And I was like, I just want to see how the hologram puck works. And I'm like, no, no. If I'm going to buy one of those, it's going to be that Amazon Darth Vader. Because uh, at least it makes sense. You yeah. could have him fucking bowing, you know, or on his knee in that scene, you know. But What is uh, thy bidding, my master? <laughs> <laughs> Bubble butts uh, on like a peg warmer at Walmart, so... 
Who's Bubble Butt? It's like oh. green, the green age chick. Yeah, uh, Hera. Hera. Oh, no. yeah, no, Bubble Butt. So You're right. I should have I should have put that together. Yeah, I, I've never even seen her in person. I've never mm -hmm. seen her on the peg. Uh, Evil King says you're going to buy Andor on Blu-ray when it comes out. How do you feel yes, about physical 100%. media? 100%. Oh, well, how do I feel about physical media? <laughs> oh, God. It's, it's dying, and I'm, I'm buying everything I can before it's dead. <laughs> but, yes, uh, Amazon, Amazon it, notoriously has been fighting with Disney for years, so they don't put any of their titles out on pre-order. You got to kind of wait until they get released. It is on pre-order on uh, Walmart. It is in my cart. I haven't pulled the trigger yet, but yes, I will be buying the Andor 4K when it comes out. Nice. Triple A says, uh, only thing he's really interested in Star Wars now is the micro galaxy. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, that B-Wing looks at, I've seen the B-Wing in stores, Triple A, and it used to be one of my most hated vehicles. But when it's like 16 bucks, I'm like, ooh, and it looks so good in that micro galaxy squadron scale. But I, I held strong. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Glenn says, I'll take the ultimate Joe ladies, but only on clearance. <laughs> All right. Let's get on to the next thing. We are only two segments in. <laughs> um let's see third party oh this does not what the fuck uh maybe i redistribute these i thought i had a lot more in third party than this but i think i might have redistributed them into different categories so uh first up dr Wu shatter glass sound wave and blaster two pack woo -hoo! Uh, so I'm a huge Shattered Glass fan, and of course I am a Soundwave and Blaster collector, so these are right up my alley. Makes me feel like when I got my uh, E-Hobby two-pack of these mofos, um, and they just oh, who could forget amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you were there, Cliff. You heard me talking. We weren't on video yet, so you couldn't see it. Um and then I love that they come with uh, just like molded version. I'm not a huge fan that they're like SD versions. They kind of look super deformed. But maybe if, you know, you got to you gotta remember that those little figures are going to be about this big. So, yeah, they're lost in the carpet as soon as you open the package. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, so it looks like you will get... Um, What's the breakdown here? Uh, there we go. So of each color, you get a frenzy or rumble, a fumble. Um, you get a eject and rewind. Um, uh, shit. A laser beak, ravage, uh, steel jaw, and ram horn. Um, what's kind of cool is they're putting them out in different colors. So there's not only these shattered glass ones, but they're re-releasing the G1 color versions of Blaster and Soundwave as battle damaged. And then you'll get a blue and black versions of these same of the same figures. So now you're getting to a point where you can piece together. Again, there's no paint detail on them, but you can almost piece together sets. So you can have a uh, uh, black ravage with a red laser beak, a red fumble, and a blue fumble. You know, so I think I might have to pick up those battle damaged as well. Yeah, I'm. I gotta. I want to buy some Dr. Wu stuff. Like I'm, I'm definitely on board with what's happening here. So dude, I, I'll tell you what, I I'm a convert. I've been lurking for, for a while and, and I just went all in showsy store, man. Um, so what was a little kind of, uh, what was kind of a little daunting to me at first was, Lots of times they just have, uh, well, let's look at these. Uh, lots of times they just have put a dollar deposit down yeah. to save your shit. Um, 
And then I was like, well, what if I don't end up wanting it? And so how this works is they just send you an invoice when it comes in. And if the price is more than you wanted to pay, then you just cancel it and you get your, I, yeah, I think you get, yeah, you do get your deposit back. So here's the battle damaged ones. And the, the best thing, and you would obviously, well, let's see. Let's, let's change you here to Canada. I can't imagine it's not. Yeah. See, it's the same thing for you. Everything is free shipping. Right. So you okay. don't have to, you don't stock it up. When it comes in, they send you an invoice, you pay it, and they ship it out. Free right. shipping. Um, these in the past, these two packs, uh, let me look. And of course, these might be a little bit different. But I mean, twenty six ninety nine, dude. It's fucking cheap. I know. I know. Yeah, yeah. I think Brinkalizer put in maybe on the realm or maybe in our chat or in the group. He's like, friends don't let friends pay pay import prices for legend stuff. You know, like definite. They are always the cheapest. I have never. Well, when it comes to third party stuff right, right and fourth party but it, don't ever buy your your official releases from them because they're going to be more expensive but i mean i would jump on it throw it you know if you're interested like i say here's the battle damage ones they're not crazy it's just their they're just their chest plates have this like crack in them yeah yeah and that's it but like, you have know. you ever seen that Japanese cartoon they did with, uh, like, Galvatron's, like, watching in the background and it's Soundwave and and uh, Blaster fighting? They're just tearing each other to fucking pieces? I don't think so. That's crazy. Yeah, no, look it up. It's a, it's a, it's a I would assume, a G2 cartoon. But, yeah, they just had this showdown where the both of them just fuck each other right the fuck up. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Well, still my favorite, one of my favorite scenes of all Transformers cartoon dumb is in the movie when he's like, two can play this game and they're both ejecting their cassettes. Yeah, and, right. They're you just know, and the cassettes are fighting. <laughs> yeah, dude, I fucking love that. Um, KJ Smith in the house. What's up? What's up? KJ. Um, Oh, Glenn Donald's all about the uh, Knight Rider crossover, and he wonders if it'll come with the Hasselhoff. Oh, dude. Just even a non painted little army figure, yeah, a little you know, would be perfect for it. Um, all right. Let's see here. Let's get back. Let's get back in time. Um, so, JB. Uh, in the group and Brinkalizer here in the chat made us aware of uh, these vamp uh, vamp accessory kits. And Brinkalizer said there was four different kits. So we'll take a look at this one and then come back. This was always something I thought. Um, so here's the kit. Uh, so I think it says more accurate gas cans. Um, but what it is is it's a gunner seat. Uh, you can see him standing on it here. I want to get, there we go. Wanted to get some without the figures. So it's a back gunner seat for the vamp. But the gunner seat is great. But what I always thought the vintage vamp was missing was pegs or some a bumper for guys to stand on, right? Yeah. Like, Every vehicle they made had bumpers for people to stand on, except for the van. Yeah, the Stinger had a bumper and a rail in the back where the guys could hang on to. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. see, I, I didn't even remember that. See, that's awesome. Uh, so here you can see Gung Ho hanging out back there. Um, oh, and this is even a different fucking tour. Yeah, they put a, a blast it. shield that's on dope. it. Nice. Now, granted, I love what they did with the vamp that it's two. I don't know if those are considered 50 cal guns or whatever, but they're they're actually like handheld machine guns, the big ass ones that they put in there. I love how they continue to do that. That was one of my favorite features of the Ram cycle. 
you know, that the little sidecar gunner could be taken out and it was a Gatling gun and shit. Right, right. So um, let's see what else. It, Brinkalizer said, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there was a kit. All right, so that's the rare gunner seat. What's this? A driver side platform. Oh, you can kind of put a door on there. Kind of sticks out a little far, but you get some interesting. The shotgun with the shells. The, the shotgun looks cool. Yeah. yeah, the chain with amazing. the hooks looks pretty dope too. Yeah, a tow chain on it. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Oh, door gunner. So not only just the platform, you actually get a fucking. Fuck, that's like an armored Humvee, gunner. man. Like that motherfucker. <laughs> you got all those kits. That'd be a loaded down fucking armored vehicle. Yeah, and it's a little pricey. So let's see. We're looking at, and there's one more. Let's look at the last one. Then we'll add it all up. Um, oh, the ooh, roll, cage. roll cage for the back. That's nice. That is dope. Um, let's see. Roll cage, ribbons for the Jesus, ribbons for the machine gun, different clip. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, if you wanted to add again, granted, an extra uh $125, you could really deck this out to match the decked out his tank. You yeah, know, if that's yeah. how you like your his tank with all the extra armaments and shit these would be a great kit now again same price as the original vehicle itself but still if you're gonna go cool isn't always cheap right jordans <laughs> aren't cheap <laughs> <laughs> customizing your car ain't cheap custom rims and shit like that so customize you know. the action figures ain't cheap <laughs> yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> exactly <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, let's see. Uh, remastered TMNT. Yeah, I saw this. I'm not like totally not yeah. these. Do not look awesome. The dimples everywhere. I don't know why they're yeah, doing the, the textured skin. I think that's yeah. all the movie stuff. That's yeah. Funny. Well, yeah, the old movie Star Turtles had like, but not like this. Like, yeah, like they are dimpled. I yeah. think they just they think uh, texture equals more detailed. Yeah, yeah I guess. Like, oh God, because yeah, I was like remaster. Oh, they're doing fucking Turtles Origins or retro, you know that kind of shit. Because that's what they are. Is yeah. They're kind of using the molds and making them super articulated, but yeah, that dimple shit has got to go. Yeah, it looks like crap. It does. Um, fail. They haven't had a lot of failures, but that's a fail. Uh, more TMNT crossovers. Weirdy weird. Here's another fail. <laughs> Maybe you're a wrestling guy and you think this is cool as hell, but. Yeah, these no. these look like wrestling guys like doing really crappy like cosplay or something. Doing a uh, the Rey Mysterio at least down here with the poncho. I I kind of like that. <laughs> but, oh, I didn't even see the Casey Jones. Yeah, yeah that's is that well. that must be Dusty Rhodes as, or not Dusty Rhodes, Dustin Rhodes. Corey. Rings? I don't know. I don't know. Like, yeah, I don't. <laughs> Rock would know better than anybody about it. Yeah. That. Come on, Rock. Oh, speaking of Rock, here's the Rock as Shredder, it looks like, with hair, I guess. Oh, uh, yeah. Unless somebody, another wrestler, has like big Hawaiian style tattoos on his chest like that. But anywho, oh, it'll say that, who everybody is. Oh, um, yeah. Here. Roman Reigns is Shredder. Corey, Ro Corey Rhodes oh, okay. is. is Cody Rhodes. Oh, you're right. Yeah, Co Cody Rhodes. Isn't I thought so Dusty Rhodes have... was Gold Dust, and then Corey Cody Rhodes. No, is his son. so like I don't. So that's Dusty like... Rhodes is the original Rhodes. He's okay. the dad. But I thought Dustin. Like I say, I thought you're right. I thought Dustin was Gold Dust. So is Cody another son, or is Cody is Cody maybe the son of Dustin Rhodes? I don't know. Wrestling people. Yeah. But I'm in here. Oh, Lucas James probably went to go watch his WrestleMania. Yeah, <laughs> so, um, all right. Uh, store report. 
uh new transformer showing up so oh i was going to talk about the GameStop being a transformers friend so yeah that five pack that we've been talking about for a few shows now that showed up at a GameStop. oh yeah so that's kind of cool that you'll be able to pick that up there dude I, oh i need to see if it has the site i have like tons of points i need to use maybe I yeah they have a the site points. and stuff and you chat starts there yeah, I'll, I'll have to check if that's on there. So here's this with the Titan, Titan Metroplex. That that thing is a peg warmer. I I, yeah, I don't forever. even know. Like I don't know how low. Like I have the original, and the original is wonky in my opinion. Um, I don't know how low this. I, I actually, I think I know how low it'd have to drop. Someone would have to give it to me for free. Because I don't think I would buy this at all. I waited on this the movie classified figures at GameStop when they were eight dollars a figure. Oh really? Yeah, you I still waited on them every week. I'd go in and look the back and just see a new stamp mark, a new stamp mark, and student. I'd be like, okay, he's eight bucks. The snake eyes is eight dollars. I'll purchase him just because I need the number, not because I give a fuck about the figure. <sighs> Um, and then the other legacy wave twos, uh, not in this post, but this post they're talking about the deluxes, but the voyagers and cores have also shown up if you're hunting mainland main line transformers. Um, new Tia TVC vintage collection is showing up as well. If you need another Grogu with a blue. Bonnet, Fuck what, yeah, what, I totally what need call? another one. <laughs> yes. Well, you're in luck, Roger. Only seventeen seventeen hundred dollars. Yes. Yeah. For a three hundred. What is? What are they now? What are they? Seventeen ninety nine for? No, yeah, they're they're still, no, they're still sixteen ninety nine. Okay. Not in Canada, man. Well, no, yeah. Do you guys use fake money up there? Yeah. So who knows? Who knows what your stores are? We barter <laughs> peanut butter on meat trays for that shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then. And you get the uh you get the training professor Hu Yang, uh the training bot, which I, I do dig him, but these aren't articulated. That was my complaint when they first revealed this guy. You you just kind of stick him on his back. I'm you know, gonna... sometimes I get upset about stuff like that, and then I realize that he's just gonna be sitting on my shelf like, yeah. in one pose, and yeah, I'm like, really I guess I don't really move? like like, but it's weird. I'm weird like that too. I'm like, these should be articulated. It's like you'll yeah. never once touch them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I agree. But I, I hear agree. you. I hear you. Especially with the price that we're that um well, you know, that they're charging for a vintage collection. It's dude, I'm just a I'm four out. inch action figure. I know, dude. Yeah, like, I've been out, out for four dollars. <laughs> yeah, I've been out four dollars ago. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I was still I was still biting at 13 bucks or at least throwing it on the Jomo list for 13 bucks. But yeah. and and I actually still put vintage collection on Jomo or and sorry, triple A, you're absolutely right people may be listening jomo is the uh joy of missing out it's where i'm tracking everything that i normally would have bought or pre-ordered sight unseen where i'm tracking it and and only buying it if it's 25 percent off or cheaper um and triple a brought up a good point last show he's like uh jomo's not working for you and we're gonna see him what we got and he's he's right it's it's not helping me buy less i'm just i'm just spending less which at this point space is more of it i i have less space than i have money as opposed to the other way around so uh let's see oh i don't know what glenn saying vamp accessories look cool those big round kneecaps on the joes are goofy is he talking about Give us an example, Glenn. Do you guys know what he's talking about? No idea. If I open mine, I would be able to give some sort of advice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I just I opened mine, stuck that Tiger Force helmet, which looks very goofy on him, uh, and and put him in there and put his hand on the steering wheel. He's got his he's got his uh, twelve gauge sticking out though. He's got a twelve um, gauge. Yeah. Fuck, yeah, we gotta open this up. Is the yeah. vamp no? Oh, it, it kind of, yeah, and he's got a fucking, 
He's got a big ass crescent wrench that goes into his that actually has a slot for him on the figure and shit. No dude, way, dude! It's amazing. Not not too many spoilers, but it's a great fucking toy. All right, all right. Uh, something you may be concerned about that I actually took the time to do is when you get the tires out of the box, the treads will be opposite on two tires. Why? Um, because people in Asia don't own cars and don't know <laughs> tread, treads face the same way. Dude, what are you doing to us, man? You're going to get a Sorry, no, <laughs> sorry. I, that's awful. I, that, that sound bad. But I don't. Because whoever designed it's actually whoever designed it, right? The people putting these together don't choose the way that the tire goes on the wheel. Uh, but, uh, you got one well, faulty dude. Not, one dude had a hard day of sake the night before. Okay, man, it's just like fuck it. I'm throwing <laughs> fucking treads on those bitches. I don't care. Not to the point to where everyone is like that, because every vamp is coming like this, where on two of the tires, the tread is the right way. On two of the tires, it's the opposite way. So right. you okay. can pop you can pop the tires off the rims and put them back on. Okay. okay. Um, all right. Let's see here. Uh, and Bumblebee Prime reissue. So if anybody's a uh, mainland Transformers fan out there, that uh, Bumblebee Optimus Prime, that thing was the most... Re- I never saw it in the wild. Um, every time it came on uh, Hasbro Pulse, it sold out immediately, even when they offered it back in stock again. Um, so if you miss this and you absolutely need to have it that uh that buzzworthy bumblebee bumblebee movie optimus prime is now going to get a re-release i don't know why they're calling it what's it originally released as 38 and then re-released in buzzworthy bumblebee again i don't i don't follow this enough um but if you're a show z store fan you can get an amazing uh uh fourth party version of it wow they don't call it fourth party but where was it i was literally looking at it today oh yeah supreme commander general so again free shipping 22 bucks on this guy their images always take forever to load and they actually fix a few versions on the a few issues on the original mold and then uh, you get a lot more accessories with this one as well so there's an option that's very well rated for third party collectors or fourth party knockoff stuff um all right uh anything you guys have seen in stores anything that you've come across and very interesting Uh, meyer got anything cliff meyer's got uh the the nekonats veratu and um, the new Toonie Terrors wave with uh, Tarman. Oh, nice. Nice. I they got their it... own um, NECA section in the electronics, just like Target. Oh, that's cool. Mm-hmm. Batas? Uh, seen a lot of the newest Transformers showing up in Walmart. Um, what else? GameStop seems to just be bumping it out, like left, right, and center. Every time I go in there, there's piles of new uh, Star Wars. Um, the vintage collection, for sure. They got all that Marvel wave, like all the, the new Spider-Man, retro Spider-Man stuff. Oh, nice. The G.I. Joe, they're killing it with G.I. Joe. Transformers, this not was, so much. This was GameStop, you are saying? Yeah, yeah, Up yeah. there, at least. Yeah. See, it sounds like your GameStops are a lot bigger. Like, ours are, like, the small... Like... They're all in strip shopping centers, and they're probably like the smallest store you can imagine. And the they're all the old Radio center. Shacks. Yeah. yeah, even our, at least the few I frequent around here are smaller than that. I mean, they're fucking tiny here. Uh, we have one big one that's connected to a Barnes and Noble. Like that's the one to go. Like that one actually has like all kinds of cool statues on display and stuff like that. It's actually like a large store. Yeah, we have two large stores. So there's one in a mall, which again, the people there know me. So when I walk in. 
Hey, kind of, Cliff. Yeah. Hey, like <laughs> sit around the counter. Um, that one has statues. That one has clothing. That one has fucking games, everything in there. Nice. Uh, and the other one is out on the other side of the town. And it's fairly large too. Like it just jam packed with toys and, and games. Yeah. That's dope. That's dope. Um, let's see. Uh, Brinkalizer says that Optimus was buzzworthy branded was the rise of the beast Optimus. That was the one that was really hard to find target exclusive. Yeah. Crazy. All right, let's get into online. Uh, Retro Phantom Menace Wave is available online. This is also in stores everywhere except for my target. I checked the I checked the store inventory, and every Target in Denver has them except for mine, uh, <laughs> which is like, fine. I just mm. I just like to see new things on the shelves. Yeah. I don't buy them anymore, but. Uh, What's nice to know is it's only 60 bucks, so you're only paying 10 bucks a figure. Uh, Cliff, did you end up ordering this? I, I haven't ordered it. I, it I might pick it up if I see it. Um, okay. it's I'll tell you the thing what bothers me. I know it's just a little nitpick, but why doesn't Obi Wan have his cloak? Why, why only <laughs> Qui Gon? I like it would be a no brainer if Obi Wan only had his fucking cloak. <laughs> <laughs> It so it's just the, the one thing holding you back. It just <laughs> irritates me. Like, look at how cool Qui Gon looks. Why can't Obi Wan look that cool? <laughs> because when he's fighting Maul in the end, he fucking whips his cloak off. Qui Gon. So yeah, no, they both. Had they his both. Cloak on. No, we didn't. No, no we didn't. Are you they sure? Took off their yeah, cloaks. They yeah, both, yeah, man. yeah, they both get ready, and then you see the double lightsaber reveal and yeah. shit. And I believe Obi Wan says to the rest of the Naboo. He says, we'll handle this. Right? Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. handle this. No big deal. Yeah, this is a big want for me because, like I say, the, that Darth Maul got me into collecting. I love Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon. I've learned to love Jar Jar. The Queen, that is just, that's what every marketing image of the Phantom Menace was. was and that, that took yeah. a long time for that queen to come out in the uh, original line. Yeah, yeah, like, exactly. Um, and then the fucking battle droid. Those are I just mean, that's become the synonymous. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they become synonymous with that era. Plus, it, I just it, like uh, that we get the double-sided in the Kenner, the double-sided yeah, in like the Kenner, Kenner style. style. Yeah. Like, I agree. So I just I'm waiting for a coupon or something. Just bothers so. me the cloak, man. Look at <laughs> I know it's a silly thing, but it's just it's symmetry. It's like both well, Jedi should have the coin that you're gonna open it, just throw away the cloak from him or give it to another <laughs> throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> right? Just throw it away. It's no take, big deal. take a vinyl off of a an original Obi-Wan. A, a fucking an orange 27. vinyl. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> take that orange vinyl and give a him a pumpkin cloak. orange vinyl. <laughs> <laughs> so then he gets a real cloak, and then you have two symmetrical Jedi's from the Phantom Menace. What's up, Clint? <laughs> oh, Clint, Clint, Allison in the house. Um, I may watch this later. Well, fine. We didn't want you to watch it with us, anyways. <laughs> Well, uh, thank you. Thank you for watching it at all. Claire. Yeah. No, yes. I'm I, sorry I, that Jason is on a tear <laughs> today. <laughs> we I appreciate you. Roger appreciates you. I appreciate you. If you're on time, you're late. <laughs> if you're late, you what, wait, if you're slick, you're late. Yeah. <laughs> if you're not first or last. <laughs> Um, all right. Uh, let's see what else is uh, showing up online. Carded War Duke wide release. This is very annoying to me, but whatever. <laughs> um, because I ordered two on Walmart during Walmart.com. The shipping only turned out to be about seven fifty a piece. Because they were coming. So from I can direct, eat that. Yeah. What they were coming from NECA Direct. So yeah, yeah. At least so they were shipped packaged. with care. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then when we do what we got, I had a similar situation with the NECA order from another store as well. But good on people for being able to pick these up. And I'm glad to see these at a $2.99. I was assuming they would keep the same price 
even though they're a simplified deco of the original ones, just because they had to be on card and a blister, I thought that might be more expensive. Um, so it's good to see that they're only 30 bucks. If you miss the original War Duke and really just want something that that brings the nostalgia, this is a better release anyways. Now, if you're a Mythic Legions fan and you like realistic shit like that, you definitely want the original release that's still available, I think, from Entertainment Earth for only like 35 bucks still at the I think normal. BBTS still has it. Does it? Yeah. So a buck or two more on BBTS, probably. But. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, Entertainment Earth also had the Steelheart available, as, or Strongheart, not Steelheart. We're not talking about uh, fucking Silverhawks. Uh, okay, uh, what else here? Oh, Mondo Tila is up for, I think it's still up. Maybe we missed it for a timed pre-order. Yeah. Um, when does the timed pre-order in next Friday? It looks like, oh, okay. Yeah. So you still got, you got five days to get this. If this is your thing, um, cool. You get the 2000 X, uh, high pony head. Um, of course you get the snake armor, which is mandatory. I love that you get her, her original vintage series sword, very well adorned there and the shield of course so about as about as good as Attila you could hope for right yeah, I don't know yeah. what else you would do it's a jerk off uh, figure so <laughs> Dude, that's what I, you, come on go ahead you got a Baroness you're jerking off on that you got Attila you're fucking <laughs> going to town on that one and uh, I don't know. It, I, I don't. I just don't know that if I was spending, you know, four hundred dollars or two fifty or whatever this is, I would ever let my semen come near it. <laughs> Dude, you're putting a, a sock on your dick and you're just staring at it, fucking going. Like, okay, we're learning too much about your routines. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, Roger. <laughs> oh, that's a cool. Uh, picture. Yeah, with the with the oversized beast man. And there's the Skeletor. Yeah, the snake armor. Snake armor looks a little bulky on her, if, uh, or, or at least the headdress looks a little bulky, in my opinion. But um, anywho, that's fun. Uh, speaking of masturbating to action figures, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got to watch uh, Grandma's Boy is back on oh, Hulu. Oh, love it. Um, I've so been, good. I've been kicking around the. Uh, I've been kicking around the. Um, what what's the word I'm looking for? Appropriateness to show that to my daughter. Oh, dude, um, that's a rough because because so she's good. seen she's seen Matrix now, so she'll get that, all the me, funny me, Matrix. How much do clothes me, cost me, in the me, Matrix? Me, <laughs> me. <laughs> I was thinking about getting metal legs. It's a risky <laughs> operation, but. <it's> really <laughs> <good>. <laughs> so who cares if I don't know who invented the helicopter, even though I own one? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That movie um, is so funny. It's when that it's, dude is playing Just Dance. Like, oh, what's this game? I've never seen this before. Oh, maybe I'll give it a try. Oh, how do you play? And he just fucking annihilates that dude. Nick Swartz in, and he's like, yeah. like, what does that mean? Ultra high score. What does that mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, Glenn. Uh, Glenn clarified his thing. So he's just talking about the uh, the double jointed knees that they're that they're giving them and they oh. can they can look goofy too i tend to when i pose my figures i'm not utilizing the double joint i'll bend it one way or another right and usually keeping the knee with the thigh as i guess to me that is kind of like what humans look like but yeah, those double jointed knees. There's, there's all kinds. I mean, there's been arguments for years, right? About that was, I mean, all the way. At least I remember all the way back to the Green Lantern figures when Diamond Select and Mattel was doing them. Mattel was doing them as double jointed, and Mattel Select was like, "Oh God, it just ruins the sculpt to do double jointed knees." I have a Spider-Man you know? from Diamond Select, uh, and he has the, the double knees. And he looks fucking terrible. 
Really, you don't like it either. No. Yeah, I I like I like the flexibility of a double knee, and I but I don't hardly ever use use it. So, um, okay, um, what else we got here? Oh, Hidden Force. Uh, so these are O-ring toys that were originally available on a Kickstarter. It took a, top, a couple of times for them to uh, come through, uh, but now they're available up. The kick, Their second Kickstarter went through with Flying Colors, and now they're offering them up on Big Bad Toy Store, which is good. Uh, this is one of my favorite characters. He's like a bat style character. So very ninja force too. Yeah. Very ninja force. Yeah. Especially the the color of his weapons. Exactly. It's, it's very um, lard and corpse for sure. Um, uh, but they've got pretty much anything, you know, anything you want. You've got oh, this crazy little monkey guy here. Um the accessories I really like, they're modul modular accessories. So you can take this and it can be one of those weird chain scythe weapons or you can make it into a mace and all kinds of different stuff. Um, but it, it's worth you taking a look if you're interested, if you like the old school O-ring fit. Ooh, I didn't realize this guy was losing. clear. That's fucking kind of dope. I like that seeing the O ring going through them and shit. Yeah, yeah the fucking yeah. yeah. I might, I might have to Jomo, and here's a here's a road pig. If you're a road yeah, pig, yeah, that is definitely that road is road pig. pig. What yeah. it's, road, it's road pig with a little vanilla ice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, very cool line. That's a lot of figures. Yeah, dude. yeah, dude. Yeah, they're. Dude. But again, a lot of them are just kind of repaints and redecos. And uh, are, you go yeah. further down. Is those accessory packs? Yeah, and then they have uh, different accessory packs again because everything's modular, right? So you can put multiple things together, put different heads on them. Um, and then they also have a stand thing, which this is really cool. Um, you can, uh, the stands are translucent here. Um, and there's like an angled foot peg. So if you wanted them um, running, you know, that kind of thing, you always had to have one foot flat and the other one kind of yeah, propped yeah. up on the stand. This one, you could even have them leaning forward a little bit. Yeah, so it could tip over immediately. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so, no, that's the whole purpose of the stand. It won't Dude, if you, if you pose a G.I. Joe on a vintage stand running with, any, like, if you get any of his, like, upper body over that stand line, it's going to tip. Right? <laughs> My experience has been different, but it's okay. I guess you're better than me. <laughs> <laughs> down, down here, or I should say up here at 5,000 feet, I guess our figures are just a little bit, there's a little less gravity affecting yeah. them up here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck uh, me for living at sea level, right? <laughs> <laughs> I was watching a comedian. It was going off about guys, people from Denver, and it, it, when the people that don't live around there, and you guys, we come in, they're like, "Are you okay? Can you can you breathe fine?" <laughs> Dude, I know the air is really thin here. Elevation sickness is a real thing here, especially because when you have visitors come in, one of the main things you want to do is take them up into the Rocky Mountains. So you're already at a mile high in in the city. And then if we want to take you up to like the continental divide, then you're climbing another 4,000 feet in a car. And it's, it's a real concern. Like triple a came and visited us. And I was like, Oh, you're doing okay. Like you're not feeling dizzy at all because it will, it'll just come on. Like I've seen people faint and shit like that. Like it'll just come on like nothing. You won't feel anything. But then you just faint out of nowhere. <laughs> when I visit, I'm going to wear like an Amor Tan Joe. Like <laughs> with the with the back breather and everything. Yeah. All. <laughs> yeah. You know, like. 
Oh, all right. Um, let's see. Fox Forge Galactic Valor. Um, so Fox Forge, um, they were the guys that did those real toyetic uh, style action figures. I, I showed off a Boba Fett homage on here, but big upper bodies, big helmets, that kind of thing. Now they're trying to go for a little bit more realistic line. And this is a Kickstarter. Um, but what's dope is it's available via Big Bad Toy Store now. So on Kickstarter, you'll pay 30 bucks for the figure and then $10 shipping. Um, from BBTS, you can get them for $32.99. So that's how I chose to back it. Um, so here's the different figures. You get an accessory kit. Oh, here's the previous ones they released if you remember those and those were really fun toys you know they weren't trying to be a collectible it, it really seemed like they were trying to make them fun toys so now i'm kind of interested to see what they're going to do to kind of match with uh mythic legions and that kind of stuff this is the guy i pre-ordered to back them um again i tend to kind of go with the troopers when I back stuff, but I mean, the, the molding is just amazing. Uh, Fox Forge Toys is really known for their 3D modeling. They make some of the most amazing 3D models that you can buy online. Of course, they have master painters painting them that make them look even better. But so happy to support these guys. Here's a breakdown of articulation if you're curious. So, all right. Um, lastly, online, Jazzwares launches their vault. Um, so this is where, and, and I think we talked about this, right? I yeah. think we talked about it, that it yeah. was coming at least. Did we get a price uh, on that ad at set yet? A uh, hundred bucks. I, I, you get 15% off of your first order. So that really had me like, uh, but right now it's mostly AD, AEW uh, wrestling figures. Um, they have a couple Fortnite things and then uh, uh, Call of Duty Ghost up there as well. But um, I was glad it, it didn't sell out. Again, the, the panel lining on it just looks fucking amazing. It, if I hadn't already bought it, I would have already ordered it. But what I have is the, the ad at retail? What uh, is just 60 the bucks for, and you get one speeder, and I think you get the four, you get the driver, the commander, and two snow troopers. Um, so they, so the ad at 60, uh, the snow speeders would be, uh, 15 a piece and you get both drivers on those. So, I mean, you're really looking at a $90 retail value here, um, with X tons of extra paint apps. If you want to count those panel linings, like the panel line, if you're talking like paint hits, you're getting, 20 times the paint apps on it. If you talk about the panel lining, um, you get Luke's uh, snow speeder with battle damage on it. So you get Porkins. Uh, Porkins no. is dead by then, dude. Yeah. Porkins dies in star Wars or oh, right. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, but I don't know who the other two drivers are. Do they, I don't, you know what they you know what they could have done that would have put the set over the top if they like released like a, a rigid wire that you could like connect to the ad at lane and connect to the yeah, snow speeder to have the snow so speeder. that it looks like the snow speeder's doing the, the tow cable, like just a rigid, like you know, whatever, like five, six gauge wire that yeah. Uh Evil King, uh Evil King also says uh that 3000 is a super low production model uh, or production number for, for this. Yeah. I think they just, 
I think they just shot themselves with it's just so easy to find. And I almost guarantee you that ad app's gonna go on clearance. Like it's in stock everywhere I go, multiples. Every store I go to has that ad app. But I agree, Cliff. If they added something like that to create more of a diorama, then yeah, I, that would have been an easy call. Is Not the snow speeder, so they have stands. Um, no, no, the snow speeder didn't come with a clear stand or anything. Right, okay. At least the, at least the uh, commercial release. Um, trying to see if, yeah, no doesn't look like anything. Yeah, it looks like they're just on the ground. Yeah. yeah. Which, you know, there's lots of things that, there's lots of reasons to buy another one. Adats had two drivers, not just one. And the commander stood behind. You know, there's there's other reasons you could talk yourself into this, but I can't do it. <laughs> um, and then, oh, one of the cool things they're doing um, if you're a Micro Galaxy Squadron collector, is they're releasing box sets of those blind packs. Nice. Um, and what's cool about that, one, even lower uh, edition number, one of 1,500. Um, but what's cool with them is they include the uh, chase so this, I think this Doku, the Dooku and the uh, Cad Bane were the chase figures that you can find, the rare and then the super rare. So that's kind of a cool <laughs> way to do it, considering you're getting, what, eight of them here. They're five bucks in store. for So for 20 bucks extra, you're getting a super cool display box, if that's your thing. But you're also getting the chases. So, all right. Um, that was online. Fuck yeah. It's what we got time. Everybody got what we got? Yeah, oh yeah. Ooh, Brinkalizer said he got that ad at for 40 bucks last year. Yeah, I got my ad at 25% off with one of those Target deals. So 25% off of 60. Yeah, I paid 45 for my ad at. So that's why I can't do 60, even though, or 100. I, I should say I can't do $60 more, even though it looks amazing. All right, who think? Well, we all know Cliff has the least. We don't even have to ask. <laughs> Cliff doesn't even. He he's he's about three shows from being the the next person that we make stop collecting yeah. because they're <laughs> on this podcast. <laughs> Hey man, it's not that, dude. I just don't have the space, man. I got two, no, sto I, yeah. two storage units. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but I did get in my Mattel Creations Cyclone. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I haven't and even got a shipping notice. On I, didn't, I didn't get a shipping notice until two days after he was in my house. So I, I shot you guys. I shot you guys the picture on April yep. Fool's Day when he showed up on my doorstep. Yeah. Yep. And then on Wednesday, I got an email saying my order had shipped. That's crazy. So, but I just want to demonstrate because I was so impressed. What you do is you pull him out. You unlock his torso, and just like Vintage Cyclone, he fucking spins. Yeah. It's so, so awesome. So the pulling him up does free form. Yeah. Like, it allows it to keep spinning, right? And then Yeah, I think you... it just, um, it does spin a bit when you lock him back down. It does. But like you, you could feel resistance, so yeah. I don't want to do it too much because I don't want to jack up the, the, the mechanism. Whatever's going on there. Yeah. And then what are we working with? Is that lenticular on the Yeah, it's a little lenticular. I know. It is lenticular. I don't know okay. if my camera will pick. Yeah, it picks yeah, up yeah, a little you can bit. See it. Oh, yeah. If you're a collector, you got to put the... If you're oh. a you, reviewer, you got to put your hand behind it so it'll focus. But yeah, no. it's You cool. can see it moving. But yeah. No, it looks great. That's fucking awesome. It's, it's. I mean, he's just a lot of fun. Like, I don't really play with my figures much. I, you know, I, I open them, I bag them, I document them. But I've been spinning this guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, trust me. You, once I get mine, people will hear like whirls during the show, and it will be because I'm spinning my cyclone out of camera. 
Uh, thanks to Mr. McFavorite, I did get uh, his Origins Prince Adam he was selling. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. I'm going to lose the, the the plastic vest, and I've already ordered a maroon uh, soft goods vest from Cape Master. Oh, so yeah. So, so I wanted you to talk about this here. Let's go. Where do you find it? Where did you order it? Cape Master on eBay. Okay, so it's eBay. And what, you just search Cape Master and it'll show up? Well, he's one of my saved sellers, but yeah. Oh, okay. like um, All one word, maybe? Uh, that's not him. Okay, that's... Yeah, what I fucking hate is... It's hard, like, you... I think you can do save sellers now, or just do Prince Adam vest or repo, oh. repo case. Oh, okay. That's and then it, you'll find them. Prince Adam vest. Because he does a bunch of different colors. He does like filmation pink. Um Tell me there you go. That that, that oh, looks like his dude right here. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And then we'll look at all yeah, that's Kate Master. Okay. Um see sellers all items. Oh, cool. Oh, this was the guy you got, and you probably said this while I was looking, but that's where you got your superpower capes. Yep, that's where I get all my repro capes. Yeah, I got a Oh, that's cool. I like that. A Sepenta or a Dr. Mindbender um, cape. He does all kinds of stuff. Like, I've I've been buying from him for years because it used to be more financially viable to buy a Kenner Keaton Batman for like a dollar ninety nine that had no cape, and then just pick up a cape from Cape Master. Yeah, yeah if you're like, not worried about that shit, I like that uh, Doctor Mindbender cape. He name. makes the, the the original one too. Oh, and there's a fucking indoor trench coat. Hell yeah, yeah. So if you're ooh, and I like that the fucking Superman with the symbol on the back because oh, yeah. the original didn't have the symbol, right? No, the original did. Absolutely. Oh, it did. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. And he also makes he makes the original short cape that is only like waist length, and then he also makes a longer cape, which I bought to replace because I was like Superman with the longer, like more regal cape, Hell and yeah. the half cape that his superpowers figure. Came you can get the poncho for Luke and Leia. Yeah, with a belt. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> That's dope, dude. He makes yeah, awesome stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's a little pricey. He just recently raised his shipping, so uh, I think I got the Prince Adam vest for like fifteen, but. It's I like it. And it looks like this one. Oh yeah, wired postable cape. Hell yeah. All right, people. Makes two tone capes and stuff. Like they're awesome. Oh, he yeah. does a lot of cool stuff. Um, all right. Did you get anything else, brother? Yeah, I got a couple more things. Okay. I got um the McFarlane, because now that they've announced they're officially making the Kilmer and the O'Donnell Batman Forever, I did pick up the Clooney. Oh, yeah, man. you did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> the Clooney and the O'Donnell Rock. Because I really like the Batman Forever Robin costume. It's the movie version of the Tim Drake suit, and Tim Drake's mm-hmm. my favorite Robin. Right. Um, so I knew if I was going to have those, I might as well get these too. Hell yeah. So I do have uh, build the, the build a figure pieces for Mr. Freeze. If I encounter print, uh, Poison Ivy and Batgirl on clearance, um, You'll get them. I'll, I'll pick them up, but. I'm not too worried about building Mr. Freeze. I really just want Batman and Robin. Oh, yeah. Um, and then, of course, because I don't know if you guys know this, but Illinois is going to get a 94% blackout. Got my solar eclipse glasses, y'all. Oh, you guys are 94. We're only 65 or something here. Yeah, oh, yeah. 94. Oh. And I got a little thing for my camera. My oh, camera. that's cool. Hell, yeah. So yeah, so I'm pretty excited about that. And then my and they're from thing, reputable dealers. You're not going to burn your retinas out. Yeah, I read all the reviews. Um, okay. So there was an eclipse last year that people really liked these. I mean, they're just okay. fucking cardboard glasses. I just don't want to yeah. die yeah. <laughs> or, or go blind. Right? Yeah, exactly. Um, and then obviously last show, I know I ordered it while we were live, but I did get, and I, I should have put them back together, but I've already broken them down. I did get my uh, Indiana Jones O-ring figure. Oh, been, and you broke him down to paint. He's them. been broken down and prepped for painting. You can see I, I always put the uh, the thighs on a pit, whoop, whoa. <laughs> on a paper clip, uh-huh. so that I can uh, just put like a uh, so I can paint them easier and kind of hold them with a like a, a clothespin. Nice. So I'm getting ready to. I was gonna paint him yesterday, and I was like, well, it's just brown pants, brown shoes, brown, <laughs> brown jacket, jacket, brown hair, brown hat. <laughs> 
I'm good right now. <laughs> like, I'm just going to be like painting all that brown. <laughs> so that's, awesome. that's that's all I got. All right. Badass, you want to go next? You yeah, I got, got some stuff. All right. I got some stuff. All right. So first off, GameStop for the win. I got my Airborne classified. Oh, shit. That's one of those figures I had as a kid. Yeah, me too. I got them got them here. I got uh Quick Kick as well from Classified. Nice. Oh, cool. I don't understand the two heads because it looks like the head is the same. Maybe the hair is different, but <laughs> it looks like his hair is windswept. Yeah, it? one's one's got a sw- oh, windswept. God. Uh Techno Viper. What's up, bitches? Oh, We're classified. Goodness. Purple Haze. I love me a techno viper. Yeah. <laughs> and then this is weird that they got him, but Ricondo on the retro card. Oh, nice. Yeah, those are a mass release. Those Oh, they like, were. Okay. So yeah. what's the Duke and the the Scarlet then? Are they not mass release? They're that same wave. No, so they they're, they're the same wave. Someone just bought Duke and Scarlet. Right. Got... <laughs> and then uh <laughs> No, this stuff's all hell for me. They, they, they Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> um we got found frenzy out in the wild oh, studio nice. scariest frenzy oh yeah yeah i haven't seen him yet i i, I never i never saw rumble come out but i had to order that through fucking alex so oh wow. uh this fun little joker here from uh the adventures of batman the McCarran oh that's series. Cool. Yeah, the... Yeah. Do they just they just didn't include have you opened that? Did they no. just not include the big bang pow thing that oh no, had? this is this is um using like the same mold as yeah, the 66 this... series. This uh, is like a like an animated like 60s comic book line, so it's not based oh, on the TV series. Okay. Yeah, it's, this is based on the cartoon. It's yeah. just weird that they didn't change the bubble, that the bubble still has the burst like that would have is that how they cheat? Wait till you see Commissioner Gordon's bare hands that are clearly sculpted gloves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then my vamp finally showed up. Yeah, last awesome. five. yeah we, I totally forgot that when we talked, you were like, it just went off the tracking map. Yeah, I, I don't totally... know what's happening. You you posted I got your van, but I was like, oh good, he finally got it. Yeah, no, it's totally like forgot just that tracking we, and I had no we idea. talked about that you were afraid it was lost in the system. And that's it for me. That's all I got. Oh, oh yeah. Awesome. Nice. All right. Um, let me see if I can uh let me see if I can open my blinds and not have this. Uh, oh Jesus fucking Christ. Maybe not. Uh, man, and like that. Unicorns. Give me a little bit more light. Yeah, I guess it's I guess a little bit more light. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Holy shit! I, I, I got me. I got me some stuff. Um, let's see. Uh, this came in, or not this? Full screen yourself, slick. You still got that? Oh yeah. Sorry, <laughs> I, I left uh, Roger on the hot seat. There we go. Uh, this just came in yesterday. The oh, diamond yeah. select. Look at that. It's even got his chairs. His splits chairs. Yeah. His chairs. Yeah, yeah. And it's yeah. got and it's got the bottle. I assume this is the bottle to do the pouring ceremony, but one's broken. So I don't I don't remember that from the movie, but yeah, the uh Jean Claude Van Damme from Bloodsport. This is oh my god. Bloodsport is probably my my most favorite kung fu movie of all time, even compared to a lot of those old uh, Shaw Brothers and all that kind of stuff. Like Bloodsport is just something I watch it at least once a year. So Frank Dukes, man, Frank yeah, Dukes, Frank Dukes. Like, like put up your Dukes. Like, uh, oh, it's so good. I love Bloodsport. I love Bloodsport. And I love Kickboxer. <laughs> Like, yeah, yeah, kickboxer was good. <laughs> Kickboxer's not too bad. Uh, the uh, Target sale that we talked about, um, um, this was, and, and maybe this is something that's new and I just haven't been paying attention, but uh, at least online, NECA was part of that sale. And so um, I picked up some of my gargoyles that I've been missing. Uh, uh, Xanatus here in his armor. 
Um, what's what's crazy is we talked about that War Duke from uh, Walmart CollectorCon being shipped and sold by NECA. So are these. These are shipped and sold by NECA. I don't know if you can see, but it's actual J-hook with no stress marks. Um, because when they ship them, they actually put a cardboard thing here um, yes. to protect the J-hook. So, it, I mean, these guys, for me, will eventually all get opened. But if you care about... There's the... It, it's basically just a repaint of their uh, the robot. Yeah. yeah. Um, but with a David Zantos, Zantos head. Um, but if you're one of those people that really care about your J hooks, get them online from Target or Walmart. They're shipping from NECA themselves and they do pack them well. Um, and that same, that same deal. Again, these ended up being 25% off, so I could handle that. Uh, I got my my Sega Genesis Gargoyles, so the animation. I'm always afraid to open those things. God, yeah, the plat here. Let me just show you the back. <laughs> so it's, it's just a video game style deco, kind of like a cell-shaded Goliath on yeah. him, so... Um, and then allowed me to get my next Dungeons and Dragons guy as well. Oh, yeah, that little green dude. Yeah. Just show the inside flap. The inside flap that shows. Oh, the there you go. <laughs> it doesn't have the glare. Yeah. There you go. Nice. Um, and this dude was one of my favorite. Love the removable fucking that is hat cool. slash yeah, hood yeah. on them and shit. So. Um, so all I need left for D and D is Elkhorn, and then of course all the animated ones. Um, let's see what else. Shit, so much stuff, so much stuff. Um, thanks to my GameStop Pro membership, I was able to pick up uh, this guy. Oh, uh, yeah, Sinestro. Uh, Sinestro. Yeah, my Sinestro. And then uh, that was on on uh, uh, March 29th. I was like, I think I need to use this. He's like, yeah. I'm like, okay, I'll grab this guy. And then I was like, he was like, oh, have a good one. I'm like, I'll see you in a couple days. And so I, in April, I went back <laughs> and I yeah. got my Green Lantern. I got to pick um, one up. This one is in like beautiful shape and I want to keep one carded. So um, I will hopefully get, well, I won't hopefully, I will eventually get a, an opener as well, but this guy's going to stay on card. Um, if you didn't know, I'm a, I'm a shark guy. I like shark stuff. So we went out of town and went to this, uh, went to a dollar general, which the only dollar generals we have around here, are like, 40 miles out of town. Um, this guy is just fun. Look at that. And the, the wow. head sculpt's pretty cool on him. Come on. Fun little fidget toy. Fidget, so you might, say, hear really. this, you might hear this on future casts. And, you know what <laughs> <I'm doing. laughs> and then you'll, I'll yell at you like you yell at me every time I try to put my toys back in their plastic bags. Yeah. <laughs> and then you'll see Cyclone uh, whipping around all the time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, and, and just oh, well, okay, maybe, maybe a few more things here. Um, again, Target Target sale allowing me to pick things up at twenty five percent off. So I jumped on them. This this will probably go for less than twenty five percent off, but I just wanted to get them because one of my favorite figures as a child. Good oh, yeah, Mutt and Junkyard. Mutt and junkyard. Hell, yeah. So 25% off on him. Um, this was not on sale, um, but that G1. Oh, yeah. yeah you... first, first episode of fucking uh, the G1 cartoon. You were jamming uh, for him. Yeah, I'm excited for that. And, and if he shows up in clearances, again, at least I got four months to return them for a cheaper price. Oh my goodness. Just, just... 
<laughs> um, let's see the uh, also in the Dollar General they had this guy, and I think I I think I have him, and this probably showed him off, but. It's a little tiny mech suit for the fucking what's that line from uh, Toys like, R Us back uh, in the day? What was oh, it? Oh, True Heroes? Yeah. So it's that it, it's it's true May. heroes. Yeah, Chat May, exactly. So, but it's a little mech suit. He's got these little missiles that you can put in here and do the firing power. I don't want to actually shoot it at my laptop, but um, so cool little mech suit, five bucks. That's what I enjoy when I go on vacation. I allow myself a little bit of toy fun. Um, good old Timu came through with this bad yeah. boy. Dude, so One of my amazing. favorite combiners, that and the aerial bots. And and sees my least favorite, and so he'll stay in the box like this right. just to be in the cool thing. This box but looks cool. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah dude. Cool, just, I, and, and it's just so fucking good. Like, like you could give this, you know, to me, what forty years ago, and I would just be like, "Oh, this is exactly what I remember." It is perfect quality, is amazing, because I also got the aerial bots on Timu. At least they don't have them in the box anymore. But I wanted, I wanted to put them together. So I got, my, yeah. I got my Superion here, looking looks good. Dope. I just, looks dope. I just haven't put his stickers on. And I mean, I mean, this is how far they go with these knockoffs. Is there's literally rub sign stickers that are much better than the toy hacks versions for these guys as well. Um, and what did I have? I had, I thought I had one more thing to show. Oh yes, here. These finally clearanced after being at Walmart for I don't <laughs> yeah. know fucking oh, dude, where they've yeah, been there for like two years. Fucking longer than that, that man. <laughs> two years if a day. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So these are the uh best action uh arcade game uh foot soldiers, which I'll tell you what, even more than the cartoon, I spent more hours playing this fucking arcade game than I ever did watching the cartoon. We right? have a vintage card so. arcade here and every time I go there, Turtles on Time is my fucking, is my jam. Is, yeah. Scratch one turtle. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, any of these animation, uh, especially from Best Action, I think they're doing a great job with the animation I'm all about. And then lastly, I'll just show that I'm, I'm not going to show all of them. Um, today, fucking amazing pickup. Um, uh, a local guy posted this entire wave, the what if wave. So who here's where it came with it. It's, it's, uh, Agent Jimmy Wu, Classic Loki, Zombie Secret Witch, He Who Remains, Howard the Duck, and Red Skull. Um, all he wanted was the Build-A-Figure. And he's like, I found them all for amazing clearance at Target. So he sold me the entire wave for 20 bucks. Oh, oh nice. get the fuck yeah. out of here. Wow. Yeah, and, I, and, and I've been wanting a Howard. Howard was the main one I wanted. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but the Red Skull is amazing. Uh, Jimmy Wu is amazing as well. So I don't know what the the Loki and the one who knows. I I'll probably sell those, except for the one who knows has the head sculpt of the now disgraced fucking actor. So I don't know. Maybe yeah, I've been I'll... I've been keeping an eye on him on Amazon to get him because but... I want to put that head on my uh, my MCU Kang. Oh, nice. Yeah. So. See, that'd be the fucking way to do it. But yeah, I'm like, and, and I even had to message him. I was like, 20, is that 20 bucks each or is that for all six? And he's like, yeah, for all six, I just want them gone. And so, and, and it just worked out. I was like, uh, Mrs. McFavorite was out this morning. And I'm like, even though Mrs. McFavorite is at the age where, or little Miss McFavorite is at the age where she can stay by herself. She's mature enough. She's not going to set our house on fire, all that shit. She still gets a little iffy about it. So I was like, 
I can go out and pick them up from you after my wife gets back. And he's like, yeah, I'll be running errands in your area. So he fucking delivered them and everything for Sweet. fucking 20 bucks, dude. That's a and deal, like, man. That's a fucking deal. Right that. So shout out to that guy. You know who you are. Um, and then uh, what was... I had one fucking other thing. Oh, um, I don't know if I... Did I show this off in the package last time? The don't fucking Beholder? This is know. like... This is like the black series version of the beholder. So this guy's normally like 50 bucks that I got for like 22 bucks on Amazon. And he is amazing. He doesn't do too much. His jaw opens up. Um, all of his tentacles or eyes or whatever you want to call these are on ball joints with no articulations at the joints. That would have been a little nice, but would have pushed him over. But I mean, look how fucking big he is. The coolest thing is, is you open up his jaw and inside oh, he's yeah. got a little fucking thing that can turn him up and down. And then you can also look up and down <laughs> with it. So, oh my God. Again, 45 bucks, huge rip off in my opinion. Well, it depends on your level of fandom, but for 22 bucks, just for something goofy, that I'll just put behind all my D and D figures. He's awesome. Um, but yeah, okay. I think that's officially it. So right, right, yep, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh shit! One more. Do you guys know what Dorables are? No. No. You, yeah. Your your kids aren't young enough, badass. But so they're these big, like wide eye anime style figures um, that they did. Um, they do in Disney. So like every Disney characters ever made. So here is they just started doing these. Here's what a Jawa looks like. And so that's like a, not a glass, but it's like a plastic eye that's reflective in it. So super cute. My daughter collects these in all the other Disney's. So, oh, there's the Mando. Um, so there, there's uh, blind bags. But what the coolest thing is, is this is what they come in. This is a motherfucking Death Star. And then what's dope about it is you can, it acts as like a little display stand for it. And then you can, you can stack them. So That's you can literally cool. create like all these little pods with your figures in it. So I got it because my daughter was interested in, I needed a filler for that target sale. Oh my and goodness. my, <laughs> my daughter <laughs> likes durable. So I was like, Okay, I'll get this, but I get to pick the ones I want. So she got, besides the Jawa and Mando, I I got uh, Chewie and R two D two, which is two of her favorite characters. So. Yeah, because R two D two is the best character. <laughs> <laughs> so she was happy to get those. But all right, that's what I got. Whew. Again, everything. Well, I mean the Timu stuff. It is a little bit different, but everything was on the Jomo list, and almost everything besides the Jazz was 25% off or more. So, yeah. Oh, I didn't even mention those Target orders. Um, not only was it 25% off, but it was place two orders. It was like one of these Target circle deals, and you need to go look at these in the app. Don't rely on them sending you an email about them. Look them in the app on the Target Circle homepage. And they're always putting out these deals of place two orders of, of 75 bucks or more and you'll get $15 back. Um, so those Target orders, the Gargoyles, the Mutt, and the Dungeons and Dragons, not only were they 25% off, then I got an extra 15 bucks off of both orders or 750 off of both orders so those i actually got for about 30 percent off so just again if it's worth your time again i think that's the big thing when it comes to sales right do you have enough 
like Cliff says, he's just like, I, I don't have time to fuck with it. He, he can't even bother himself to return things for a better price, let alone shop for a better I price. I don't return. Once, like, I have pants that don't fit. That, that just don't fit. <laughs> and, and you're just like, I, well, oh, well. <laughs> yeah, well, I tried to return it once. And I'm like, go to Kohl's. I'm like, all right, I'll just keep them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um, all right. Let's see. Yeah, Kyle Bunga Dude says, badass. Open up those Joes so we can see them. Not a fucking chance. Not man. happening. Maybe <laughs> the vamp, because the vamp's not numbered. The vamp is very questionable right now. Like I feel like I should be. Oh, is it not numbered? Is oh, there a number on it? Numbered. Yeah, it is. It's, it's not one. Is it? oh. Yeah, it's one twelve. Oh, those sons of bitches! I know. <laughs> I know. Uh, Brinkleiser says was going to visit my family in Maine for the eclipse, but plans fell through for. Fortunately, I got to experience the full totality back in 2017. Yeah, same here. We that year a, a full totality ran through Wyoming, so we went and saw it, and that was fucking amazing. I, you know, there's lots of advocates out there that like, oh, this is bucket list, once in a life. I I don't know if it was that cool. But it was pretty fucking amazing to not see it. It doesn't go dark. It goes like twilight, right? It goes like it's, it goes about a half an hour before it would be completely dark. But if you want, if you want to see what it looks like, go to YouTube, type in Ozzy Osbourne, Bark at the Moon Eclipse. He played uh, in 2017. He played in downstate Illinois, which got 100% totality. And they oh, played wow. Bark at the Moon as the blackout occurred. Oh, and you can dope. see what it looks like when it goes from day to night like that. Yeah, what it does. Yeah, and because it, it's only like two minutes, it does. It gets colder, you know. I mean, it gets colder kind of like a big thick cloud passing past the sun, but a little bit colder than that. But yeah, I mean, it was amazing. But then again, we and then we sat through six hours of traffic to get home mm. for it. So that but was kind of rough. Just think about how cool it is. Like, let me let me let me get a little bit nerdy on some of my <laughs> other non-toys interests. The moon is two hundred and thirty-eight thousand miles away from us. The sun is ninety-two million miles away from us. <laughs> the moon, the sun is like four hundred times the size of the moon. But in our where we are in the Earth's history right now. The disk of the moon and the disk of the sun in our sky are the fucking same size. Yeah. That is bananas. <laughs> so that when we when the moon passes in front of the sun, it totally black. That is crazy. That is. That it the is. size difference and the distances they are from us, that they're both the same size in our sky. <laughs> that is, I just think that's really cool. So sorry, I I'm, I, I, I'm really nerdy about space. So I apologize. No, that's, <laughs> dude. I am glad there's people out there because uh, one of my best friends from one of my first jobs is that I wouldn't say that's her life, but she goes to wherever the zero point is. You know, every time this happens, and she spends thousands and thousands of dollars to make sure she's at the best spot and the best time and all that kind of stuff and and it is it's fucking amazing you know the science behind it uh cowbunga dude says our house was in totality totality last time we watched from our driveway all the photosensitive lights in the neighborhood turned on it was pretty neat fuck yeah so hell yeah yeah, I mean, I, I bought new, because of course, I packed away my glasses as as a, uh, as a uh, souvenir memory. Yeah, as in our, what we call our memories boxes. And so now I can't find them. So I had to buy new ones. But I, I shelled out the money just, we're only going to be 65%, but it's still going to be fun here. Yeah. You know, it's fun. Look, watching the shadow going from yeah. the sun. Like, like, it's cool. Like, I think we were only like 50 or 60 in 2017 out here. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it still fucking looked at it. Like, it was awesome. Yeah. Brinkalizer says, I recommend experiencing a total eclipse. 
eclipse. It's freaking cool. I've just experienced total eclipse of the heart. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's hit some grab bag and get the fuck out of here. Uh, first up, Tales of the Empire uh, poster and trailer. Um, so this says that it's it's a six part animated anthology in the style of the Star Wars Tale of the Jedi um, that was previously released on Disney Plus. Looking at the trailer, it, it doesn't seem like an anthology unless we're 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 the trailer kind of follows well one as bear sophie so if you're a, a prequel fan you know who barris is um so it follows uh um or it has bear sophie it has the fourth sister it has thrawn general grievous it has the grand inquisitor it's got that dude who who died in Ahsoka in the first episode that was the coolest looking guy, the Brock or whatever his name was. Um, so it has all these. So considering the trailer looked like it is a, a an entire story played out over multiple episodes, all I can think of is this, they're calling it an anthology is that it's going to focus on each one of these dark side imperial people. Barris Ophi's, uh transformation to the dark side, spoiler, but it, it talks about it. Um, the Force Sister, Throck, Grand Inquisitor, all those. I assume it's going to tell a story about each one of those that'll kind of like be part of a main story, but um, looks really good. Again, it's uh, animation. They're calling them uh, animated shorts. So I don't know what, you know, on on uh, Disney Plus, shorts can be as short as three minutes and up to 12 minutes. So I don't know where these will clock in, but looks interesting if you're... Uh, and then it says it's going to premiere on May the 4th. So, of course. Um, G1 cartoon in theaters. Cliff, obviously not you. Badass, would you go to this if it's a, in that your town? Theaters? Yeah. Um, uh, so what they're going to do... Oh, excuse me. Uh, what they're going to do is the first episode is going to play side by side with a table reading of that episode from Frank Welker and Peter Cullen and all that shit. Um, so, which is fine because the first episode, you know, these aren't shot in fucking HD or anything. So one for them to blow them up or try to remaster them, it's going to kind of look like crap it, to begin with, in my opinion. So it'll be kind of cool that you're sharing it. And then, so that's more than meets the eye part one. Again, like I talk about my favorite thing. I can't, I can't even Jomo figures from it because I love it so much. Um, and then it'll play uh, the next three episodes, I think. Um, this is going to be, uh, let's see, screenings will be available in select cinemas across US, UK, and Mexico. And select territories, Europe, Latin America, and Asia. Oh, you we're you not can't, even getting that. Yeah, you don't even get it. <laughs> if you want bullshit. It. <laughs> I was gonna go, but now fuck you. I'm not going. <laughs> uh tickets will go on sale at April 10th at uh 9 30 a.m. local time. I don't I don't know how you do that. There that's not quite possible in my opinion but whatever local time in latin america what time is yeah that? exactly <laughs> i mean it's like i'm sure they all go on sale at the same time i doubt they launch in new york and then yeah. illinois an hour later and then here an hour later and then you know but whatever maybe it's the case but i i am definitely in on this if it shows up here um, so it'll be three days, uh, March 15th, 18th, and 19th. And so, by March, you mean May. Oh, yeah. sorry, May. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. 
we we know what we we know what time of the show it is. <laughs> we know what conditions uh, slicks in here. Um, uh, new eats at Galaxy's Edge. These actually look pretty damn good. So what we're seeing right here is a sugar cookie. Uh, I mean, granted, it's probably a ten dollar sugar cookie. But, uh, but look at this. This looks good. Bantha Burger. Fuck. I can uh, make a better let's one at see. All. What's interesting, this is featuring an Angus beef and vegetable patty. So there's not two pat. if you're not watching the show, there's not two patties in here. So it looks like they're mixing an Angus and veggie yeah, patty it's together. 60 40 mix, yeah. Yeah. Oh, do they, is that common where you're at? Yep. I've never heard of this. Dude, you never heard of this before? Yeah, doing a beef, a, a vegan and a beef patty together? You can do that or, again, it's if you want a really good tasty hamburger and you're making it from home, you do a 60-40 mm -hmm. cut, which is 60 beef, okay. 40 pork. And oh, yeah. No, all now the I... flavor and all the juice in it. And again, the same premise here right yeah no i i've done that before but no a, a veggie and a beef patty combined seems weird to me but um we also have marinated mar marinated uh pork belly which fuck bacon if, if you're a bacon <laughs> fan if you haven't done pork belly or sought out pork belly alternatives mm, my god american cheese asian the American cheese is kind of weird. I, I I'd hope for cheddar. It's a melt. It's it melts easier. It's it, yeah, it's, for yeah. It's it's that, that's why it's, it's just a meltier cheese because it's right. more plastic than cheese. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Asian inspired slaw, and then a sambal sweet mayo on a toasted brioche. Um, so that's good. Uh, watermelon slush with Death Star Glow Cube. I'm all about slush and watermelon. And then it looks like it's one of those things like you hit on your hand and it starts glowing. That's cool. Uh, Wookie Parfait, which just looks like diabetes in a yeah. cup. Yeah. Um, let's see. It is featuring chocolate sponge cake and chocolate pudding. We especially love the caramel mousse on chocolate coffee, uh, coffee crust with chocolate pearls, inspired inspired by Chewbacca's bandolier. And so, yeah, interesting. Uh, Kelto or Celto slush, uh, plant based pandan flavored. I don't know what pandan is. Flavored or chata, topped with cold brew. Based on a plant first seen in the Star Wars Holiday Special. Oh, I don't even remember what that's from. But I'll just call it a glass of milk. <laughs> <laughs> you get dewback chili noodles. Um, again, the cookie. So I I think it's a little concerning that these are all like meats from these animals. Like I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's Wookie meat. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, not the parfait. And of course, you know, the dewback chili noodles is not dewback, but it's just kind of weird, right? They could theme them with names and stuff like that without alluding to that. This is the meat of the animal. But isn't that like the point? Show. It's like if I'm in, if I'm at Galaxy's Edge, I'm living Star Wars. I don't want a cow. I want a, I want a bear. Oh, I, okay. Okay. I can feel yeah. that. You know what I mean? Like I it can feel helps that. like bring you into the, you know. Yeah. Like if you're at a restaurant at Galaxy's Edge, you would yeah. be getting, yeah. You'd be I want a pizza with Jabba the Hot Pepperoni. <laughs> you know. Oh shit. Um, all right. Last up here in some motherfudging grab bag. We get the G1 music from the original animated series vinyl. Amazon pre-order is live. Yeah. Um, so this is kind of crazy. Let's look at some pictures first. Uh, in the stream, they talk to the artist about this, and I I get it. Art is hard, and I love artists and all this kind of stuff, but 
the deep dive he went into this. And it, it didn't help that the guy had the least personality of the artist I've ever met in my life, I think. Um, and maybe he was just nervous because he was on a live stream. But I personally do not like the artwork for this. It, it just me. But, um, so this is not like Transformers the movie soundtrack. Um, one, these look pretty cool. I love these. If, if you've never seen how they make these uh, custom colored vinyl, hit the YouTubes and look them up because they're amazing and they're never one that is the same. So what, whatever yours comes like is a one of a kind. Um, so you get Autobots and Decepticons. And then here's the cool thing. So this is actually the animated series soundtracks. So you get the opening theme and you get all those little like music. What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, little music tidbits, the, the, the background music, that kind the of cues. Thing. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, Do you get the commercial breaks too? Um, not that I'm aware of. Uh, these are all just kind of uh, like like Cliff was saying, the music cues, the things in the background. Uh, but they have good names like Cybertron Sorrow, Bridge to Icon, <laughs> uh, From the Secret Files of Teletran 2, you know, Waking Night. Decepticon Despair. <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, it's awesome. Like I say, you won't be disappointed. I actually have, and and I don't know if it's this one, if this is a rehash of what I've been able to find in the past or what, but um, I actually have all of these on digital, like the actual Transformer soundtrack. So, and it's amazing to hear this stuff by itself because it just conjures visions of the actual cartoon and maybe a scene that you loved from the cartoon that used one of these things that they used over and over again again these aren't like oh you only heard these once and never heard them again these were kind of like background uh music that they used throughout the series so all right about those well that is open your toys cast episode two fucking 90 and uh we had lots of people here we even had uh audrey audrey thanks for joining us the first time she says this one is so cool i think she's audrey's about, cool i think she's talking about me i she's think talking she's talking actually, about me she, I, oh, I assure you she's talking about me <laughs> okay. Okay. So you know Audrey? Should I? Do I, know Audrey. I, I, I mean, thought. Do. Oh, okay. I thought that might be a spam account. Just hitting. Our nope. Comments. <laughs> Whenever there's an attractive female icon, I just assume it's a it, it's a spam account. So yeah, sorry, yeah. Audrey. Thank you for joining us. Cliff is the most amazing guy I have ever met in my life. So. You're just telling her shit she already there. knows, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Modest cliff over here. <laughs> um, but we had Brinkalizer as usual, as usual, Evil King Macrocranius joining us. Thank you guys for giving us all your Transformers insight. Clint Allison, Glenn Donald. Thank you for joining us, Glenn. We appreciate it. Clint Allison in the house. Uh, who else we had? KJ Smith checked in. Triple A. Um, bring Eliza, bring Eliza, bring Eliza, bring Eliza. <laughs> uh, Lucas James was with us until uh, WrestleMania Night 2 started. And then uh, Cowabunga Dude is always chiming in, hopefully hanging out with us. Well, he did. He chimed in at the beginning of the show, and he was still here 15 minutes ago. So appreciate it, guys. We, we love when you join us. So um, I think... We will see you sooner rather than later. Later rather than sooner. Sooner than later. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>